Yes, y'all, you know what it is. It's them kids and wives and 925s, but we are still married to the games. Episode 233, and it is a morning show. Yes, it is. A little different. It's your boy, Gabe Patillo. Yep. With Tim Router, yep. Ed Placencia, and yep. Chris McCracken, of yep. course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. We haven't had a morning show in a minute. I know. Yeah, I actually while. forgot what time we record in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, sir? My alarm went off and I didn't know anything about life this morning. I was, I was right ready there. to go a half hour ago, <laughs> just in case. Is this real life? Yeah, I woke, exactly. I woke up like, wait, why is my, wait, wait. And then when I went, so when the bears and the door open, and so when we get to the stop sign, <laughs> I didn't know oh, what was going on. <laughs> that is awesome. I think I just stared at my phone. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah, I do that sometimes too. <laughs> yeah. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Why? Why does this time exist? I know Kung Fu. Show me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh so we are up and at him and we're just just, you know, we're just gonna try to keep the energy up, guys. We're just gonna try to keep Got the to. energy up. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. We, we're gonna do our best. Exactly. I think that's more of a pep rally for you than anybody uh, else. Maybe. <laughs> it might just be I might be the only only one struggling. Um since you've been up, Ed, <laughs> how how are things going in your world? Going well. Uh, we're back in Pennsylvania. We have finished our West Coast adventures. Mm. Awesome. And uh, yeah, nice. we had a we had a great time. Uh, when we last left, I was still in Las Vegas, and we then went to Los Angeles for a really quick weekend. Sarah had a conference to go to, and uh, we were in downtown LA, uh, staying literally right across the street from the Staples Center. So kind of. Uh, oh, really. Yeah, yeah, kind of a nice, nice, nice little area there. Uh, got to meet up with a couple of friends who I actually knew from online conversations, but had never met in person. Are you serious? Yeah. What yeah. world was so, this? Uh, this go- was. The- what was that? Right, sorry, I was going to say, did you go whitewater rafting with them? I did not Jeez. go whitewater rafting. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I um. I had become a fan of one guy. I actually, the last time I, uh, we were in Los Angeles, I saw him perform because he was opening for a friend who was doing comedy. Mm. Oh, and cool. So after, afterwards, I had kind of hit him up and said, oh, wow, I really liked your performance. He's actually a uh, kind of a jazz musician, and by day, he's a Los Angeles, Los Angeles district attorney. What? Uh, what? So it was wow. really cool. I uh, met with him and... Uh, Met him down at the at City Hall, right where he works. Um, him and, and his saxophone. A, in his saxophone, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Is that your gun? No, that's Just, my sax. Yeah, what's in the briefcase? <laughs> oh, hanging out on the <laughs> steps, playing music. <laughs> right. And the jazz. <laughs> he's got his own soundtrack for when he's walking in to do his attorney stuff. Exactly. exactly. He's the only we're, attorney we're, that we're, walks we're, into we're. Careless Whisper. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so, yeah, that was a great time. Um, and then the next day, I got to hang out with Lane Compton, who played, if you've played Mafia 3, you know him as Donovan. What? Uh, in, yeah. And I wonder awesome, what that man. tweet meant. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was trying to read in between the lines. I was like, shoot, I wish I would have played this game. I don't know what he's talking about right now. Yeah, he's kind of a, a, a scene stealing character and, and uh, got to meet with him. And we just hung out and uh, went out to eat, uh, went and got some drinks. And it was just a really cool time of just hanging out, walking around, and uh, just chilling. It was Dude, a really great, great time. Yeah, it was, great, man. it was just really cool to, you know, meet someone that you think, I think this guy is a really nice guy and you meet them and you're like, wow, he's a really nice guy. Wow. So it was just yeah, really that's cool always nice. hang out and, uh, and, and yeah, just chill like that. Um, after, uh, after LA, Sarah and I drove back to Vegas so we could uh, stay one more night <laughs> drove and drove back fly to Pennsylvania. Out. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be horrible. <laughs> LA. Horrible. Just got in. <laughs> 
And we found a, uh, when we were back in Vegas that last day, we found a Harry Potter themed coffee shop. Yes. And we were so happy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I was a little nervous because I'd heard of it before and kind of thought, okay, is the gimmick going to be the Harry Potter theme and it's just going to be kind of mad coffee? Right. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. So I went in with kind of low expectations and proud to report that uh, Bad Owl Coffee in Vegas uh, does a great job. They do, it was a lot of fun. Nice. And uh, so, yeah, it was, it was really cool. Um, got back. Monday and uh, just kind of recovering and Sarah and I are back hitting the ground uh, just doing stuff for her uh, her YouTube channel and her website and she actually takes off today for uh, a couple of weeks to do kind of like a, a mini tour of uh, her Zumba what has you what have yous mm. and, what has uh, yous so, nice. what has yous so I'll be here uh, kind of holding down the fort doing some packing for our move playing some games and just kind of kicking back. Is it weird to come back and not be doing the studio? Like there were so many days that I called you or text you and you were like, Oh, I can't talk right now. I'm at the studio or like, yeah, would call me right back and be like, sorry, I was in the studio. Or is it weird? Not that not being part of your life. Not, not at all. Really. It's actually kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. Don't it's miss nice. Well, no, then- and that just proves that you made the right decision. Yeah, and, you exactly. Know, and it, that's, I think that's great. Yeah, so we're actually pretty happy to kind of have that behind us and, and uh, to know that what we're working on now is actually we'll, we'll make a little money off of it. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. it's different when you go in week after week knowing, well, the other job's going to pay for this all week yeah. because it's not making any money. So, mm. uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. Um, Gaming wise, I haven't played anything except for Family Guy and The Simpsons Untapped. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to getting back into Sniper Elite. It's it's been a while since I've exploded a head, and I'm looking forward to getting back into it. Nice. And that's uh, that's that's about it here. Excellent. Tim Router. Oh, I hate. Are you movies. still adulting? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're adulting the crap out of everything right now, but mm. um. We'll start with Piper's topic of the week, which is <clears throat> her sweet aunt Dabney and the triplets. Oh uh, yeah, are, yeah. Lauren's best friend Dabney from uh, up in New York. Uh, they have triplets. Uh, she and her husband Peter. And so uh, we usually try to get together. She uh, couldn't make it to her birthday party, so she wanted to come down at least uh, and and see her for a weekend. So she came down on Friday and just left yesterday morning. Oh cool. So it was nice for the girls to be together, and and Piper just. Uh, Love, hmm. loves her so it was really sweet she loves uh hanging out with aunt dabney and she was able to facetime with the triplets there's seven i don't believe it oh my and, wow. um, i've never met so, triplets yeah neither yeah. have I. I actually yeah no no yeah yeah i have yeah I have. take the back sorry good lord it's it's morning <laughs> 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 I'm trying to make my brain work here it's, i was like yeah. wait did i see just two of them and i just imagined the third no yeah there was a third <laughs> one that's right oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> so they're really they're really sweet kids and uh, i think we're gonna try and go up there like we did last year um up to shelter island because they'll have a house there oh nice and and we'll we'll hang with them but um so yeah she's been having a good time but man it is just move 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 we had a garage sale on saturday mm. um d- did really well it was kind of nice because normally the neighborhood does their annual garage sale like the first week in october and it's just it's two days of just non-stop but it was kind of yeah. nice to be the center of attention and a lot of people showed up uh actually probably more unwanted in the morning than needed i i put the <laughs> i opened the garage door at 7 40 our garage sales at eight there were four cars lined up and people started coming in and wow some some people like i couldn't even get my cars out of the driveway or as i was getting the cars out of the driveway people were starting to go in and pick through my garage wow. i'm like can i start getting this stuff out first please? i know right <laughs> doggone it like Man, garage wow. sales around here started like seven so you were behind the eight ball well yeah but i like to sleep a little bit thank you uh, <laughs> i'm just saying that's why they were they're, eager at the eager beavers <laughs> chomping at so the bit. yeah so this is yeah. at 7 40 so but some people are really sweet but sweet and they helped me bring some stuff out in uh out onto the driveway uh, but it did. It went really well. So we had a we had uh, some good time, and we're we have a little money pile that we're using for the new house, which is really nice. nice. Um, and so just still going through the house. Um, you know, the some of the my major hurdles are done. We I've finished the garage in both attics, and uh, unfortunately, I've had to 
pretty much pack up all of my gaming consoles because I'm going to move them over to my in-laws. Mm. Uh, ho- hopefully this next week, we're trying to schedule all the final inspection bullet points that we need to finish, um, including our radon mitigation, mitigation, which the homeowners association still hasn't approved yet. Mm. Uh, wow. Which is, what? Which is ridiculous. Just mental note. Moving forward, if you ever have to do that kind of stuff, don't contact the Homeowners Association. Just do it because they really shouldn't have any say in it. I mean, I, it, it right. doesn't. It's it's not a big deal, and I could have killed the buyer's realtor for mentioning that. And so, um, but it's all good. We're we're powering through everything. We only have two things left, and one of them's going to be taken care of this week. There you go. Um, I've got two storage spaces now. And I'm gonna start moving a bunch of stuff over. We just hmm. been packing, 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 getting boxes at Lowe's and packing, packing, packing. So, um, but uh, I want to just get the upstairs part of it done so I can stop going up and downstairs, which is, by the way, a fantastic. <laughs> it's a fantastic workout. Yeah, but, um, I was it's, say. <laughs> it, it definitely tires you out s- sooner than later. But um, yeah, so I had to pack up the PS4 and the Xbox One, but of course I did that delicately, That's and that right, is gonna be did. by my oh, of course by not. my hip. <laughs> The whole move. I'll keep that yeah. in the car with me until we move it over. <laughs> so I think um, what will happen is not this Friday, but next Friday, we're going to do the actual move and clear everything out, uh, put what we need in my in-law's house, and then the rest goes to storage. And then that way, the house is pretty much free and clear, and we're supposed to close on Monday the 13th. So it's going to be really bittersweet, man. I, you know, Lauren and I keep talking about it. It's just, it's going to be sad. It's 14 years of our mm-hmm. lives here, and we've had great memories here and uh but it's it's uh, you know we're looking forward to the adventure the next adventure we had our builders meeting with for the new house on friday and it went really well and and the house is just going to be i think uh, a lot of fun and we want to make this you know as as inviting to every, any and all and just i think it's kind of our our dream house and so that's awesome know, we, we plan on being there for a long long time so it's been 15 it's been more really years, 15 plus, maybe. Yeah, 15 plus. Yeah, I, I always tell Lauren, like, I don't want to do this ever again. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. man, I know what that's about. 14 years in this house, and you accumulate a lot of crap. So I've, I'm still on the second dumpster. I think, I think we're good. I don't think I need to get a third, which is great. Because uh, all the attic stuff was really a lot of this. The attic and garage is really where a lot of the stuff that we could throw out was mm-hmm. probably. And then everything else is all the living stuff that we had anyway. So. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just really boring doing this whole move stuff and I haven't played a single console game and there's so many things coming out and I'm just like, ah, right. But, uh, once I, <laughs> once I get to my in-laws, I'll be on a nice 55 inch TV or plus, I think he's, it's even 60. I'm not entirely sure, but, um, so I'll be upstairs and I'll be able to play some games and I just can't wait till that moment where I'm in a, in a house, just be able to relax and not have to, un, not have to pack up anything. It'll be good. Right. That is it for me. Oh, I, I have been playing just a lot of uh, Clash Royale. That's pretty go. much all I've been playing. Right. Yep. There you That's go. It. Chris McCracken. Why do I feel like I'm about to get the first of two sides of the same story? <laughs> 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 well, sir, that would be. D- depending on how good Chris does, I, I might not do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 man. Feel free to chime in because there's going to be a lot of crossover here because Last weekend, Mr. Gabriel came to town. Oh, yeah, that's right. baby. Thanks, Dallas. Oh, I appreciate y'all. There you go. <laughs> you, look, you guys looked like you had a blast. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Was it, it fun? I talked Chris's ear off. I felt really bad when I left. I, it, it was amazing. It, you know that I, feel, I just you, picked it right back up, put it on. It's like, oh, I miss Gabe talking you off. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> 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 you know, it's funny. I, uh, when, um, when I left, I did because I'm a little overwhelming, maybe as a friend. And I, yeah. I left like, oh no, I might be the guy that, like, you were like, you know, hanging with Gabe was fun. He's just a bit much. Is how I, <laughs> hey, how oh, I that was a talker. But I got back to the bus. Yeah. No, no, that wasn't it at all. So let, let me back up and just highlight a few things real quick. So the first thing is, I, you know, Gabe hits me up. I was like, all right, I'm ready to do this. So I, I drive on over to the venue to go pick him up. He gets in the car and first thing he does, he looks over and he goes, I got you something. I'm oh, like, what? It's I'm not like, an what? PS4 Pro, is it? I was like, I know. I'm like, I'm like, Gabe, Gabe, I already have a PS4 Pro. You don't have to give me another. I'm cool. Hey, Gabe, Gabe, no gift can live up to what I just got a couple days ago. Right. <laughs> but if there was going to be something that did 
<laughs> it would probably be what Mr. Gabe got me. Come on, baby. Because he got me a copy of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, the disc and the box, mm. but it's signed by Kojima. Holler! What? Wow. And it's How sitting up here on my shelf. It's like right dead center. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. It's got oh track lighting gosh. and museum roped around it. It's amazing. <laughs> I wish I all my friends were that overwhelming. <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously. I know, right? I was like, dang, two weekends in a row. I'm like, man, what's going to happen next weekend? I know. What am I going to get then? <laughs> Stacy got to step it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 was, I was blown away when I saw that. I was like, oh my gosh. I don't, and he's like, man, so you're telling me you don't already have this? Like, no, I don't have anything signed by Kojima. <laughs> you're telling me you don't already have this. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is that with Chris <laughs> being such a huge fan, it wouldn't surprise me if he already had a Metal Gear solid game signed by Kojima but when I could get my hands on it I was like I gotta take that to Chris like I have to give that to Chris <laughs> like that's the only where that's the only place it's funny because I, I got it from a buddy of mine who who met Kojima in Japan and had gotten this game and I don't know why he's getting rid of it but he was just like hey I was gonna like sell this or something but do you want it and uh after like because he said it's signed and I was like, okay, signed by who? And uh, he's like, the creator, I think. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh so boy. I start getting online just to see what Kojima's autograph looks like. And sure enough, it was the same one. I was like, yes, I want it. <laughs> I wow. Like, I was like, can I come pick it up in like two days? Because I'm actually going to go see a buddy that I want to give it to. And because uh, it'll make a, a really great gift. And so I was all nervous about it. I was going to wrap it, but I didn't. And. So I got to <laughs> like Chris would have been upset to have two. I, it would, I, I, <laughs> I know, but if you, have, if you already have it, then it's not that big a deal. It's like, Hey, I got you an iPad. And he's like, Oh, I have an iPad, but thanks, man. That's cool. <laughs> Try to offer me two anything autographed by Steve Martin and see if I turn that down. <laughs> exactly. I know, right? I just, it, I was um, one amazed by it completely, but two, I was also equally amazed by how he was just like, Man, you know, I know it's not that big of a deal. Like, it was not a big deal. <laughs> this is Kojima's signature, and it lives in my home now. <laughs> that is a big deal. <laughs> so, yes, that was awesome way to kick off the weekend for me, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. like, all right, I get to hang with Gabe, and on top of that, <laughs> that's great, man. Kojima's signature. <laughs> so cool. Oh, man. Uh, it was awesome. Yeah. So, thank you, sir, for yeah, that. Of course, it's got man. A special place up here on my shelf. You um, <laughs> when you see a gift that goes so perfectly w for somebody, it like yeah. it's just I love when that happens <laughs> because you, makes your day, man. Doesn't oh, it? Oh man, I love it. When I when I there's been like the I almost had like I just couldn't. I was thinking about like, do I hold this out for Christmas? I was like, dang, it's February, oh, no way. man. There's no way no to hold way, out man. that long, <laughs> right? <laughs> if I'd have got it in August, maybe I could have held. But like the fact that I was seeing him and spending two days with Chris. I was like, yeah. well, this is going down. Hopefully he doesn't yeah, have I mean, this if, already. If it was the opposite, there's no way I could wait until Christmas. I once I get stuff and I'm excited to give it to somebody, I cannot wait. I just I have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Or I'll end up telling him about it or something. It's like, you know, I just gotta make it happen. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. I, I I know what you mean. Um, so after I picked him up, we went and we checked out a couple of game stores. We went to two different ones and while we were waiting uh to meet up with Stacy, and we actually had some other friends of ours staying uh, they had come down from Oklahoma because they were going to be going to the Toby show on Friday. Mm -hmm. So they were staying over with us and we went and met up with them and had lunch uh, at this Mexican restaurant over here. They're very sweet. Kind of spent some time with them. Yeah. Kind family. They, they were really eager to meet. I mean, I, I don't know. Do you think that they were pretty open? And, like, you know, when you met my sister the first time, she was all like, oh, I want to meet Gabe. But then she was real quiet and nervous. Do you <laughs> right. feel like, how do you feel like they were? Because they were eager to meet you too. I thought, it was, I mean, you don't, you didn't feel that. So that was, it was regular. It was nice. It was like, gotcha. you just okay. But they were like all people. timid and quiet and everything. The kids were quiet. Yeah. But kids are typically quiet when they don't know which somebody is, in their no, which was great. Surroundings. And yeah. the, the, the <laughs> wife, you kids be quiet. <laughs> the, 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 no, I'm just saying like, it's not like you meet this family with three kids and, and the kids are all over the place. You. I can climb you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and this one time, like, I did a backflip. You want to see me do a backflip? And yeah. so, um, and then the, the wife sat, like, across from me. And then the husband sat down at the end of the table. Um, so I didn't get to talk to him as much at first. But then um, the wife was really nice. Janice, 
Is that her name? Yeah, Janice and Steve. Yeah, Steve. They were they yeah. were it's very, very cool. kind. Yeah, nice people. Yeah. And that so that was awesome. Uh we got to spend a little bit of time with them and then that evening we went to the show. Gabe was so cool to get them some meet and greet passes so that they could meet Tony. Oh, nice. So they were just over the moon about that. That was really awesome. The show, as you might expect, was great. Everybody had a great time. And then uh, I had talked with Gabe and I was like, hey, so like, are you just staying in a hotel or are you on the bus or what's the deal? He's like, oh, I'm just on the bus. I'm like, well, you want to come stay at our house? We got an extra room. And <laughs> That's so awesome. We got a futon. I picked up Gabe afterwards and he came over here. And we stayed up talking with uh, Janice and Stacy for like a couple of hours. Mm. And then we ended up going into my office and playing, because I have two PS4s now, <laughs> we played we played Overwatch for a couple of hours with Gil. That oh, was nice. so fun. It was awesome. Oh my nice, gosh. Nice, so man. Being, I've never played a game like that like in the same room like in a long time where we're both playing this multiplayer competitive game and not mm-hmm. like a split screen kind of thing. It was pretty so awesome. It was really, really cool. Yeah, it was yeah. really neat. That's we, great, We were man. like, hello, four in the morning. Yeah, How are you? That's awesome. It's the hour it's like, of mistakes. It's not like you have a show to do it again tomorrow. So maybe we should just keep playing some video games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Which I did have a show to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so the next day we went uh, and we had lunch at another restaurant over here. And we met up with my sister. She brought my nephew and her friend and, and her little boy. Uh, and then we had all the same people that were at lunch the day before. Um, it was my nephew's birthday. So we, they, Set, told him that it was his birthday and he had to do like this little chicken dance in front of everybody. So he had a good time with that. And then that night they were going to go to the show. So my, my nephew was wearing a shirt that said, Hey, Toby, it's my birthday. And Gabe was awesome and got them meet and greet passes too. So he got to get a picture with, and it was my first time being Toby. on a shirt on the back of it and said, and yeah, Gabe, and on the back. Eight. yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I was like, Oh yeah, so that, snap. I made a shirt. Yeah. That was really cool. Um, but before we got to the show that night, we went to uh, an arcade down over here in downtown Dallas. Uh, it's called the Cidercade. They they specialize and they sell a bunch of different ciders and stuff at the bar area. But then it's one of the deals where you you buy like a wristband, you pay ten bucks or something, and all the games are set to free to play, and you can just go around and play whatever for Very as long cool. as you want. We did that the same same thing the last time Gabe came, but this is a it was a different arcade, and I feel like this one was a better one than the one this we went one to was before. better. This yeah, one, it had this a one had better selection. Everything we were looking forward to had track and field. Oh yep. lord! Had Dragon's Lair too. Oh lord! Yep. And it had Killer Queen. Da, yeah, da, it had Killer da, Queen, da, which da, da. I was really excited what? to get to try. And that game, <laughs> that game is a lot of fun. That game so was fun. If you if you got a Killer Queen in your area, because they're not they're not all over the place. They're only in select places. You have to go to their website and find out where their locations are. But it's this arcade where. It's two big, uh, not are they called cabinets? Yeah, one sure. Of the stand-up mm-hmm. ones? Mm-hmm. I always want to call the sit-down ones cabinets, but they're two cabinets, and it's five players on one and five players on the other, and you're doing, so it's five on five versus, mm. and you just have to, I mean, I don't really know how to explain what it's the heck is tough, going on. It's a tough game to explain. It's pandemonium, yeah, yeah. but it's, real, it's like, a lot of fun. Bit, low bit, and like uh, there's three ways to win. You can collect berries and put them in this thing, or you can kill the queen, as I call it, killer queen. Three or times, you can ride a or snail. you win, or you like ride a snail into a net. <laughs> it's very strange. <laughs> yeah, it sounds Trippy. crazy, but I'm telling you, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Yeah. If you get a chance to play it, you yeah. definitely should give it a Do shot. Do a little acid, play some Killer Queen, you have a great time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you heard it here, kids. Tron. You heard it here, kids. Good lord. <laughs> Good luck with your life. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Take oh advice God. from Gabe Patillo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gabe said do some acid and play Killer Queen. I don't know. <laughs> then my life took a really weird turn. I told you stop listening to that show. Exactly. The back of my shirt is now, hey, Gabe, I'm baked. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Instead of eight, good job, router. Yeah, you're welcome. Yep, I'm on oh, fire right. today. Morning, pre- um, morning people. So then that night, as I said, we went, my sister went to another show, and then uh, we had to bid... A fond farewell to Mr. Gabe as we sent him off. I didn't like to go that to his part. next adventure. Yeah, <laughs> it was a bittersweet for sure because it was a really, really awesome weekend. But that's awesome. The show, the show was great. My sister and my mom actually went to the show as well. She wasn't able to go to lunch, but she was able to make it to the show. I so hated it, and I at. barely got to see your mom. I hated that. So I know. Shout out she to Mama Bread too. fan. Like there, there was this weird thing where so. During the Toby show, on the very last song, we have people come down and like jump on stage with us and and jump around. So at the meet and greet, when I saw Jenna, I said, hey, do you want to come on stage and dance with us tonight? Like you and Tristan and your friend and 
and her son. And she nice. was like, she's like, of course. And I was like, all right, cool. So during this song, come down to where you met for meet and greet. They'll bring you back. And, you know, well, then. So I don't know if I was just rushing with my instructions, but. Uh, oh, and Chris, I found them, too, in the balcony. I was like, oh, you snap. Did? And I'm trying to, like, point at them. I don't know if they could tell that I, could, I found them. But yeah. because he was wearing that bright green shirt, Tristan uh-huh. was. Uh, and then your sister wore, wore these coral pants th- that night. And so the, uh-huh. it was kind of like I could easily find them in the, in that's, the show. That's them. Um, <laughs> and no so, mistaking. Uh, and so I was watching okay. her. And during the song, I was like, they're not coming. They're not coming. They're just like dancing and not coming down here. <laughs> so I try like a wave down like, hey, come down here. But there's like no way that I mean, you're watching Toby the yeah. whole show. You're not watching me. And mm-hmm. so they don't see me. And so then I, my whole plan was I'll then, cause the people just kind of leave the stage and I usually could like run and find somebody right then because it's the end of the show, yeah. but because she didn't come down and because my phone died, I couldn't like say, Hey, where, where's your mom now? And then like catch up with everybody. And yeah. so it sucked, man. So she, sorry, mama bread fan. I wanted to see you more than a quick hug and meet and greet and a picture. Yeah. And my sister she like, yeah, she totally didn't understand correctly what the hell was going yeah, on. She was like, I she thought told you me, meant after. I was like, yeah. after? <laughs> There's like <laughs> people tearing down the stage. Like you might get a head contusion yeah. after. Yeah, she <laughs> there was she totally like was like, I didn't know he meant like on the stage, like to dance for the last song. I was like, well, I was like, well, I wasn't there. So I don't know exactly what he told you, but I mean, yeah. what did you think? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was it was a lot. It's a lot going on. She's like leaving, yeah. meeting Toby. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. You know, as she's leaving, yeah. You want to come on stage and dance at the end of the show? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll come down during this song. And uh, there, right in there, was where the breakdown happened. Yeah, so. but who, maybe maybe next time. There's yeah, always, there's always a year to have. Still from awesome. Now. She's had an an amazing time there, and Tristan was over the moon too to be able to to go to the show and, and see Toby and then take a picture with Toby wearing his, Hey Toby, it's my birthday shirt and yeah. all that. So that was really awesome. Mm-hmm. So thank you for that, sir. Oh, of course. Being so kind to my fa- my friends and family. Um, gaming wise. So I have played some overwatch surprise, surprise. Uh, we did some more don't starve together with Stacy, but we also did it with kale and Katie. Cause uh, you can do it online as well. So the four of us were playing inside that world. They kind of showed us what the heck we were doing. Cause we had no clue. Oh, <laughs> so, so did you get further than we showing did us the ropes. Yeah, we got further. I want to say we got to maybe eight days at one point. Nice. And then, so yeah, Stacy and I are still obviously the weak link here. We're we're still figuring out. They're a little bit ahead of us. We're like, you got a cool shirt. How'd you get that? I don't know. You got to do stuff. <laughs> and we're like, okay, well, you gotta survive long stuff. enough to do that stuff. That's <laughs> But that funny. was a lot of fun. Looking forward to doing some more of that. Um, I bought Psychonauts, The Rhombus of Ruin, which is a PlayStation VR game. Um, if you've ever played Psychonauts, Psychonauts is... It's an older game that was popular. I think it came out on PlayStation 2. I'm not really sure. I never played the original mm-hmm. Psychonauts, but I know it's got like kind of a cult following, if you will, and they are working on the Psychonauts 2. So this is supposed to be kind of like a little bridge game that bridges between 1 and 2, as I understand it. Nice. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I don't really... You're, you're a psychic, and you're with these other people that are different psychics, and you're trying to go rescue this person that's been kidnapped. It's kind of the best way that I know how to how to describe what's going on. And you're playing all these. It's a bunch of puzzles and ha- things you have to figure out. And you're moving things around with your psychic powers and whatnot. It's a lot of fun. It's only like 20 bucks. And then actually right now, I think it's on sale with PlayStation Plus for like 17 or something. Or 15. Is it worth it? Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I would buy it again. Nice. If, if, I, if I didn't already have it. So I definitely would recommend that. And then last night, got home, started Horizon Zero oh, Dawn. Yeah, you I'm did. so jealous. Yep. Yeah, boy. And it looks and amazing. The first nice. two episodes are up on our YouTube channel. The yeah, rest of are. them, I've got them rendered out. I just got to try to do some of the uploading tonight because I ain't got the best internet here. <laughs> so, How they mouths? Uh, they mouths. They didn't fix their mouths. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy because that's like the first thing that I started paying attention to. And the first character they didn't is kind of like a dad figure. And then the little you're a little girl. You're a little Aloy. And I'm watching and I'm like... Is that well, how they know, say it? Aloy? It's not, yeah, that's how they it's say it's Aloy. Aloy. No, and the names the names are crazy, so I'm gonna forget them all. I think the dad the he's not really your dad, but he's kind of like a dad figure. I think it's Rost. So that's those are the only two that I can kind of remember in, in my head right now. So they all but like weird terms him. on like alloy and rust. 
I guess, yeah. I hadn't I hadn't thought about it mm. like that, but that's kind of his name Ooh, makes sense. Yeah, like R O S T. Rost is oh, how Rost. they say it. Mm. Yeah. Did okay. you Wait, meet or- switch it out for you? Did you meet Arlumanum yet? <laughs> I did not meet Arlumanum yet. <laughs> Thank you, and Ed. And Slamma Ding Dong is next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but God. anyways. They'll be uh, sh- yeah. silver and About bold their mouths. I'm sitting yeah. there paying attention in the early scenes. And I'm like, all right, you know, it's 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 off a little, but it's not that bad. But then once the game opened up and you start getting to more cutscenes when Aloy grows up, you're like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, they're bad. They're bad. Why yeah. in the Why? world? Why? They're pretty bad. Oh, I uh, yeah, I, it's I mean, the eyes it's, that are supposed to be bad. Like, we're used I know, to eyes right? being it's, weird. It's always the eyes that are, like, just kind of weird and dead inside. And it's like, yeah, the eyes look great, but their mouth does not move right. <laughs> not at <laughs> all. spend all the time on the eyes. <laughs> right. Yeah. But outside of that, I'm having a lot of fun. It's, I'm in the the point right now where you know you're figuring out the controls and trying to remember them i keep hitting Mm -hmm. the wrong buttons i'll go into a herd of all these robotic dinosaur looking things and i'm you gotta you want to try to split them up and pull them off one by one because if one gets alerted they'll all look over and come and chase you Mm -hmm. and i'm over here and i'm trying to hit the crouch button instead i'm hitting jump or dive i'm like ah because the crouch button Mm. is the square and i feel like i'm used to it being the circle yeah and so i'm constantly hitting the wrong Mm -hmm. one switch it no, you can't. That was another thing. I went to the controls. I was like, okay, well, I'll just switch the layout. And when you go into the control section, you can't switch it. It's just a prompt that shows you, yep, this is what all the buttons are and what they do. That's all that it is. What, what? does the it's circle a, do? The circle dives, square okay. crouches, that's X so jumps. Opposite of what so you want to do. Good. Yeah, the exact opposite of what I want to do. going to be the division all over again. Right? Yeah, it is. And then this weird thing, and I don't know yeah, if right? maybe, I can't remember. I think this might have been the way Metal Gear Solid was, but it, it's kind of similar to that in the sense that, like, you, at least in the early parts, you don't ha- you haven't unlocked fast, fast travel. So you'll go to a spot, and you have to run all the way to this other area. Well, I guess I kind of got used to the where, I think it on uh, Metal Gear Solid, you hit, like, R1 or something to crouch when you get there. So I kept wanting to do that, and I'm throwing a rock, or I'm, just, you know... <laughs> Swiping with my big stick, nice. and I'm like, oh my gosh. So all these old <laughs> games are meshing in my brain, the control schemes. I'm like, wait a minute. I just got to focus and settle in on how this game goes <laughs> right. and in. learn the controls. So once I get past that point and get to where I'm not having to think about it, I think it's going to open up even more. But even the way that it is right now, I'm having a lot of fun. Of course, it's still very early on. It's only about two hours in. I've only done you know the first little mission when you're doing kind of the tutorial stuff, and then the, yeah. the first little mission past that once you've finally grown up, if you will. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm excited to get into more of it. There you go. And that is me. I've talked way too long. Never. Mr. Gabe. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, I got to go to Dallas this last week. I'm just kidding. What? What? Uh, did you see anyone? Yeah. Nope. nope. Didn't know that. That's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why didn't you hook up with Chris? Come on, man. Uh, um, uh, so <laughs> and uh, just to you know revisit it, it was awesome. Um, I also nice. bought Horizon uh yesterday, and nice because my hey, PS4 good. is on the bus. I'll be playing that old stare at it in the box. Yes, <laughs> oh, nice. great game. Yep, hate it, hate it. So um, I should have unwrapped it and like opened it up and smelt it and everything, but I haven't done that. Oh, you guys don't do that. Um, no, <laughs> no, I don't smell it, but mm. I know people You're lucky do. if we stare at it in a box. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm trying to think what else happened this week. Uh, I did play a little bit more. Oh, I got to meet up with Ian Drake from the community. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, sweet. Yeah, was that your that first time meeting? I, yeah, it was a whole weekend of love. So two That's days with awesome. Chris. He has the best. I love Ian. He has the best pirate name. If you Ian were a, Drake. Ian Drake, it's the perfect pirate. Perfect pirate name. He should start. He should be a pirate. We should tell him that. Yeah, there you go. He's an actor. I'm, okay, let's tell so him. So he could do it. Uh, yeah, he right. Yep. He, uh, so he was in Jackson, Mississippi. So it was oh, cool nice. to meet up with him. He took me to a flea market that had this awesome gaming area. Um, Very nice. cool. I've never seen so many game gears in my whole life. Like, they have wow. like this whole uh, big, you know, bookshelf or whatever with consoles on it that they're selling. And they just have multiples of everything. I'd seen that many Game Cubes. Wow. I'd seen that many, you know, Game Boys and Xboxes, you know, the OG ones. But I'd never mm-hmm. seen that many Game Gears. I mean, there probably was like, I don't know, 15 of them sitting there. Oh, wow. I was like, these are probably like all the Game Gears they made. <laughs> <laughs> 
And so um, they're all here. Yeah, they're all. Look at them. They got all of them. Hey, congratulations, guys. I'm getting all the game gear. <laughs> you caught them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> game gears. Got to catch them. Oh, good job, guys. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> good job, guys. <laughs> uh, that was cool. They had uh, <laughs> they had an amazing selection of games, except for Dreamcast games, which nobody mm. has an amazing uh. selection, it seems like. But I am undeterred and ask anyway. And so I was like, you know, hey, do you guys, have, they didn't even have them on display. And I was like, really? Like, yeah, we've got a few. Oh, wow. And he like goes and brings out like, you know, two handfuls or something like that. They probably had like out 20 of them or something. And, uh, but most of them were the sports games. So that was kind of a bummer. Right. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Probably Power Stone, even though it's way overpriced, but I probably have to get it. Just because it was such a good fighting game. Oh, gosh. Um, they did have Punch-Out for the Super Nintendo, which I really wanted to get. But it was 20 bucks, And I was like, mm. eh, that feels like a lot of money. 20 bucks. Yeah. For something I'm not going to play. Play more and you can just get the NES Mini and it's already on there. Plus a bunch of other stuff. Well, this is on the SNES. Oh, SNES. My bad. My yeah. Bad. Sorry, I probably didn't say that. Um, and so... Uh, I, I really like I had to take a lap on it. I was like, ah, let me go think about it. Took a lap and saw the other stuff that was there at the flea market. So it was a really good time. Fun hanging with mm. Ian Drake. Thank you for coming and picking me up. It was him and his wife and his son, Xander. I showed Xander. Does he have a Southern accent? You know, I don't remember him having it. No, I don't remember him having a sub- Southern accent. Because I no. don't picture him with one. But when you said Jackson, uh, Mississippi. Yeah, I was like, oh, does yeah. he have an accent? Well, he's a transplant. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, he's not from there. Um, he actually lived in Dallas for a little while, I, th- I want to say. Yeah, what? he did. Yeah. Um, but anyway, no accent that I remember. But you know, you got to remember, Jenny's family's really country, so I might just be numb to it. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, if it's true. not like super thick like molasses, I don't recognize it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, so that was a really good time. Uh, him and his uh, wife That's and awesome. nine-year-old son fun hanging out with those guys and it was funny because uh, that's great i'm like i had to go get my backstage pass because i had forgotten it and uh when you're coming back into the venue usually by the time we come back you know the, the everybody's out there like you know where you have to pay for parking like you did with chris and stuff like that mm-hmm. we had to tell this mm-hmm. lady like hi we're with the show and she was like that don't look like the bright and i was like we're with the show these are not the droids you're looking for <laughs> That's right. And so she ended up letting us in, but it was Moving like really on. like herky jerky there for a second, right, Chris? Yeah, she's like, you might be with the show, but your car's not. You got to pay. I'm like, oh. <laughs> We're like, no, it's. But we got this fancy pass. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> it's funny, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I'd forgotten my pass. So I was like, Xander, you want to come see the bus? And so as we're going on to the bus, uh, I had some buddies, you know, obviously some people I knew on the bus. And uh, I was like, hey, guys, this is Xander. And they're like, oh, hey, buddy. They're like, you know, how you know Gabe? And he was like, from his podcast. And they were like, oh, really? He was like, yeah. He was like, I'm a big fan. I was like, oh, <laughs> freaking cute. Oh, yeah. So awesome. It was just weird That's hearing awesome. a nine-year-old say they were a fan of the podcast. And so That's I was like, amazing. Hey, all right. We cross generations up here. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. That's amazing. Yeah, exactly. Do some acid. So he was oh, a yeah. kid. Yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> So there's a lot of children this weekend. And for me not liking kids, all the kids acted great. Yeah. I was going to say, so, man. They made, yeah, we they, showed you the, the cool ones. Now, when they're you go see Gabe, he does not like kids, so stay absolutely silent. <laughs> <laughs> no sudden movements. It's that. like, you should be in your rider. <laughs> yeah, rider. <laughs> they, were all, they were awesome, though. They gave me a, a renewed hope for children. Yay. I was like, all hey, right, my cool. kids don't have to turn Just, out terrible. Now, Give it, give it time. Give yeah. it time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, well, I got into a little League of Legends the other day. Was playing. Yeah, that, how you so feeling? How's it going? You know, it's all right. I'm still playing the computer. Like, so it's like yeah. five people versus the computer, and uh, I'm a little scared to go play real people. To be honest with you, I just don't feel like Come getting on. cussed out and all that business. I don't know. Like, I feel like I. I'm learning it enough to where I'm, I know what I'm kind of doing. I still don't know what weapons I should be forming to be the most powerful versions of whatever champion I'm playing. But, you know, I'm doing all right. I'm definitely not ending up, though. It's weird because sometimes I'll play and I think I'm doing good. 
and then some I, I would have been playing with somebody else on my team and they'll have like 37 kills and I'll have like four kills and I'm like okay mm. there's a disconnect going on somewhere so did they not to... necessarily match you up according to what level you are well one guy made the point of like because he was getting really mad at somebody else like stop doing that stop doing that he was like dude what do you expect this is where noobs come to learn the game like yeah stop getting frustrated he was like well you have to also consider that this is where really good people come to test out other champions that they hadn't played and so mm-hmm. we were like okay touche we get it so uh, it's been fine, but I just haven't gone up against real people. And I know that when I make that jump, it's going to be a rude awakening. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Um, but I mean, so, are you enjoying it overall? I think so. I mean, I guess if you're kind of sticking with it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I want to say it's a pick up and play game, but it, you, it's, you play it for a while. You yeah, definitely stuck it out. In playing those other ones that people had recommended, like Heroes of the Storm, or I saw somebody recommended some other game too. Yeah, but I haven't. Um, no, I haven't tried those yet. I need to, but I haven't tried those. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, something else happened this weekend, but I'm not sure what that, what it was. Um, oh, good. But just to- <laughs> thanks for the, thanks for the teaser. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but to uh router's request. Oh, yay. In Bring 1949, mm-hmm. Joe Lewis retired as a heavyweight boxer. Ooh. After holding the title for a record 11 years and eight months, Joe Lewis, the boxer. Wow. <laughs> Happy belated Black History Month. And yes. also, Very nice. this one's a little bit more interesting. Uh, Robert F. Fleming, so that's for the day we're recording, but for the day this comes out, Robert F. Fleming Jr. was mm-hmm. a, uh, an inventor from, I don't know how to say this state. I always say it weird, and I might have to get bleeped by the FCC. Um, Mass- Massachusetts is how I say it, <laughs> but I know that's not <laughs> right. Right. Massachusetts. That's what? It, Do you really? Mass- <laughs> that's, Massachusetts. that's literally how I say it. I don't know how to say it right. Well, how is it? <laughs> Mass. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> that's amazing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally it's how I mass- said it my whole life, and I cannot retrain that is myself. Hilarious. What? <laughs> well, you, you almost had it. Just kind of reverse it. It's Massachusetts, as in chew your chew. food, and Sets. then sits. Then sits. Yeah, Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Massachusetts. Um, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. That's a double dump. Uh, <laughs> it's a double dump. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hashtag poop life. Anyway, continue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. Um, Morning show. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Morning. Wow, wow, wow. Um, uh, he, yeah. <laughs> he patented the um, acoustic guitar. Oh, no way. In. Yeah, in 1886. Nice. nice. So, yeah, man. And you said it was Fleming? Yeah, Robert F. Fleming Jr. Uh awesome. the the inventor who patented the modern acoustic guitar, patent number 338727. Mm. Anyway, dash dash 2. Happy belated Black History. That's awesome. Man, yes. look at you learn how to say state names. Well, I haven't <laughs> learned it yet. They're amazing. You guys just told me how to say it, which happens every time I say it. To someone who's over <laughs> twelve years old, that was that That's was so pretty funny. incredible. Yeah. So if you want to hear it, you on, can rewind on, it and be like, "On yeah, this he day, say that Gabe right. learned how to say <laughs> Massachusetts." Happy Black History Month, everybody! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, That's all awesome. right. Well, uh, also on this day, the day that this is coming out in two thousand sixteen. Episode hmm. 181 was the first show that Chris McCracken was on Married to yes, the Games. Sir. What? Yes, sir. What? Happy podcast birthday. 181. Yes. Chris McCracken Chris. came out on March 3rd, 2016. Welcome to the podcast. It's been one year since we've had, wow, since man. We've had Chris wow. McCracken. That's awesome. like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, brother. Well, thank you, guys. It's been an amazing first year. I couldn't have asked for a better one, and I'm looking forward to many more in the future. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Come on yeah. now. So cool. Love it. Keep this train rolling. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Um, <laughs> all right, Router, you got this thing? Bring it on, Bray. Well, let's do it! All right. 
my brain really wanted to say let's get into some questions let's get into some do it <laughs> all right we all know horizon zero dawn for the ps4 is now out so go oh, get yeah. you some so you can play with alloy and rust and Silver and all those other people Rost. and aloy i know Rost. And WD-43. <laughs> and WD-43. I can't wait till I meet Hargark. <laughs> and Castrol and all this Castrol. other stuff. Yeah, Exactly. <laughs> Anywho, uh, so Horizon Zero Dawn is the big winner this week. Well, for early part of the week. And then we have uh, Forma 8 for the PS4, Vita, and PC. Hey, Walking Dead Telltale, Ser- Telltale Series Season 3, A New Frontier, comes mm-hmm. out this week. What? Man, uh, tw- I'm bummed about that, because I can't play it. Why? Well, because I played all of mine on, on the Mac, and they stopped supporting the Mac with this one, so it's like, I can't continue. Oh, they did? Save. Yeah. Oh, I did not. Uh. Well, I mean, they haven't officially said it one way or the other, but all the other times, like the Mac version always came out later, which is fine, you know, because it's harder to develop for. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. it will. I'm sure it will come out. It's just not going to be immediate. Well, but the I thing is, in the past, why. they always listed the Mac, and they're like, yeah, and the Mac coming soon or coming later. This time, it just doesn't list it at all. So oh, I don't, no. And they've said nothing, so I don't think it's coming at all. So looks like my... Walking Dead Road is over because if I can't use my save, I don't really want to yeah. continue on. Why? Yeah. I didn't, didn't know there was a new anything. one coming out. That's awesome. I didn't think the saves did anything. But it does in my head. It does in my head. It's like I put in all this time. I want to continue so to use thing. that. You know? Yeah. yeah. I just. I, I mean, I get it that it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, but I just. I, nah, something about yeah, like it, that's my honestly, Clementine story that I created. My Walking it, Dead it, story. It really doesn't. It. it really doesn't. But yeah, I I can see how mentally you'd be yeah, like I, I, I need to i need to keep my saves oh my ah. gosh guys <laughs> my saves oh, my saves hurt yeah. <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen nintendo switch time oh, <laughs> games yeah. coming out this games coming out this friday for the nintendo switch legend of zelda breath of the wild of course that might be the big Just winner the- we never know i mean i, I know you uh, i know it, you gave it some the winner. that's gonna be the big winner <laughs> yeah yeah oh sure just dance 2017 we have shovel knight treasure trove I am Setsuna, Skylanders Imaginator Starter Pack, Little Inferno, and World of Goo. So there's your Nintendo Switch yeah. fast, information. Fast RMX. Did you say that one? Super Bomber. Oh, R. no, I'm sorry. Missed that one. Snipper sorry. Clips. I fell asleep halfway through. I'm like, oh, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Nintendo my gosh. Switch. Mm-hmm. Anywho. Friday, baby. Um, Come okay. on, Best Buy. Don't let me down. I need that thing to be on time. Please. It'll be on That's time. Right. We'll see. That is right. You say that. Uh, we do have two oopses, sort of. Um, uh, Lucas Ham Swisher, as a Homestar Runner fan since 02, got a call out Gabe. He mentioned the song Burninating the Countryside by Strong Bad. That's right. I don't, why is that an oops? Well, because the song's not really called Burninating the Countryside. It's called Trogdor. But I... I I thought it'd be funnier if I'd said Burninating the Countryside. It was funnier saying by... Burninating the Countryside. Right. Yeah. So the song's called okay. Trogdor. It's the first line after he starts screaming Trogdor. Okay. And right. then, and then right. he burninates the peasants like Ed brought up. But he <laughs> burninated right. the Listen. countryside first. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and then at I made Chris Warlocks. listen to it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was you? like, I still don't know what this is all about. What's and then he played it and he's like, ah, oh, now I got it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I love Homestar Runner. Oh my god! And then here we go at Arctic Warlocks hashtag MTTG. Oops, maybe. No. Oh. Ed stated that the stratosphere rotated at 120 minutes uh, in order to do a complete 360. While get this bozo. While the website stated, <laughs> I know. Hey, I know. <laughs> While the website stated 80 minutes, did they slow it down because of Ed's fear of heights? <laughs> that would be but, speeding it up. Okay. Oops, by the way. So, if so, it's 80 well, minutes, they speed but, it up. Exactly. Yeah. But not only that, not only that, but now we're getting oops because people are looking up stuff on the website? <laughs> I know. Come on. I nah, was man. just repeating what the hostess told us, so someone's seriously. got fake news. Bring it all. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Bring it all. I got no oops. Listen to that. Exactly. I just so love that he man. looked it up. Yeah, yeah no, I, I like do that. too. We, uh, actually, we, uh, you know what's funny hey, is that hey. it, it, it's, I, I just wonder what triggered him looking it up. Like mm, that doesn't sound right. Hold on a second. I know, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> it 
exactly. See, 80 minutes, just like I thought. I knew that information was falsified. <laughs> that is that is falsified, and I looked it up, and now I'm going to oops you. Yeah, yeah I like it's, it. Which, yeah. Which kind of tells it's me good. it's it's kind of a good thing because he must then look up everything we say, and for that to be yep. the only one, that's yeah, not too bad. That means we're doing pretty good. We'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. Who did He's that? He's thorough. We'll give him that. Arctic Warlocks. Oh, thanks, Matt. Na- Ohio represent. Yeah, it is. No, it's all good, man. I'm just giving you a hard time, but that's awesome. That's it for the oops. Back to you guys. What you got? Chris McCracken. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to start with the biggest news story so far this week, at least yeah. according to Chris McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that I, I hear Runner the 3 is going to be exclusive to the Nintendo Switch, despite all of my fist shaking and gnashing of teeth as yeah. I read that. And as I stare at my Commander video statue up here on my shelf and say, you know what, Runner 3, I'm not going to get to play you because you're going to be on a handheld that I have no plans to buy. And it's so yeah. weird to me. Weird. It's got to uh, be timed, right? Did we all agree that it uh, is well, a timed I don't know. exclusive? They, they never said. I'm, I'm hoping that it's timed because I do want to play the game at some point. We'll see how I mean, many switches sell. Yeah. <laughs> and if like eight people right. download uh, Runner 3, they'll be like, and guess what? We're releasing it for everyone now. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, uh, I hate this. I'm so sorry, much. buddy. And I, and I get it. I like it's for people who like Runner and are into Nintendo stuff. And I know they have a history with Nintendo, and that's great. But it's like, man, did you hear about uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider and their being yeah, multi-platform yeah. and then pulling it back to be exclusive to one platform? That didn't work out so well. And did you well, see yeah. Street Fighter Five when they went to one platform on just Sony? I mean, that didn't work out too well for them too. So. I mean, I get it. They're a little developer. I'm sure, you know, the big plumber came over and said, we got a lot of cash. Put it exclusive on ours. And I'm mm-hmm. sure it's going to line their pockets and everything. But I was super bummed about it. But for those of you getting a Switch, play Runner 3 because I bet it's going to be an amazing game. The trailer looks amazing. The other Runner games are amazing. So yeah. I, I think you should definitely get this when it finally comes out down the road. I'm mm-hmm. hoping that they pull like an Inside where Inside came out in the... Everybody was always like, Inside for Xbox One, Xbox One. It came out, and then like a month later, it was like, and guess what, PlayStation 2. <laughs> so I'm really right. hoping for that to be what happens. Yeah. But at least at the time being, it's exclusive to Switch, along with a lot of other indies that they announced yesterday, too. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. But that's mm-hmm. the one that matters the most to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just uh, so funny. Um, so sticking on the Switch news for a second, people were able to, I don't know how this works. I'm not a hacker. So if I explain this strangely, I'm sorry. Um, but Kotaku um, said that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild got pirated days before launch and it's causing some major leakage issues. I mean, we all yeah, know a lot of that. Spoilers. Yeah, a lot of spoilers came out. But we all know, too, that they've sent these games out to be reviewed. They've sent switches out to people to be reviewed. So you mm-hmm. kind of know that it's going to get spoiled because people aren't responsible. Mm, but. Yeah. I haven't looked up a lot of stuff because I wanted to do the, if you guys saw, I put a poll on our Twitter. It was saying, you guys get to choose the game I buy first. Looks like it's going to be Legend of Zelda unless, uh, oh yeah. Unless Just Dance 2017 makes a huge comeback. It'd have been more funny if you'd have left Zelda off that list and then people would have just been like, I'm saying Zelda instead. (laughs) That would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. I almost did that for the comedy of it, (laughs) but (laughs) you totally should have. I I was like, uh, well, I just put it on there. Um, and so, yeah, some spoilers, some screenshots have made their way out. But th- some people were able to download. OK, they, they were able to download Breath of the Wild related files directly from Nintendo servers somehow. And so mm. that's where the majority of these leaks are coming from, not from the people that got the reviews, uh, the review copies early. Really? Mm. Right. Mm. And I haven't looked at any of the So then reviews, that's a server I'm, issue. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a, it's a server and a hacker issue. That's so weird. This, this, even this story on Kotaku uh, has spoilers in it, but I'm just choosing not to look at them because I'm going to go ahead and give Legend of Zelda the old college try. But I will not mm. be looking at it through nostalgic glasses. So if I say yep, it's not yep. good, know this where I'm coming from. But I it's remember okay. somebody, okay. somebody yeah. online was like, yeah, but it's the mix of old school Zelda with Elder Scrolls. And I'm like, I, I haven't played either. <laughs> so that doesn't sound that great. <laughs> right. So, You're not selling uh, me. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. And so we'll see what happens, man. I, I know nothing of, of Zelda. I've owned two Zelda games in the past, Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker HD, and uh, have not played much of either of those. So hmm. I feel like that you're coming into it probably the best way possible, because like if I were to get a Switch, it'd be the same way where I haven't played Zelda since whatever was on the nes and i never even owned it i only played it over at friends houses i i don't have like this bond to zelda like a lot of other people do right but i do think breath of the wild looks really cool like if i were getting a switch that's definitely the game that i'd probably want to get because it's the best launch game at least on the to the lineup it seems like it's the best one but it looks interesting to me so i'm, I'm eager to hear your thoughts from a perspective that's yeah. not looking at it through nostalgia and all these other things well here's yeah. the problem because i'm going on the road and because i'm getting something new my personality wants to get one to switch because that's something mm, that I yeah. can share as far as like, look, I just got it. Like, it's really hard to be like, look, I got the new Nintendo and somebody be like, Oh, cool. And me be like, okay, so sit down and play this game real quick. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, instead of being like, this is how it works. I take the joy cons off. You get one, I get one. Let's shoot at each other. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and it'd be all of a sudden a, a party and everybody can, you know, do it and yeah. be involved. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one's going to be like just me and my bunk and everybody's going to be like, how's the new Nintendo? As they like pull yeah. back the curtain on my bunk, like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm playing the new Nintendo. And they're like, that's the new Nintendo? Just that tablet thing? And I'll be like, yeah, it's uh, you can also do it on the TV. And they're like, hmm. So like an iPad? <laughs> and I'll be like, no, not quite like an iPad. But this is exactly how it's going to go, Will you go too, back by up the front way. and let me just play the Switch by myself, please? <laughs> Here, you take this Joy-Con, and now move left and right when I tell you. Okay, now move left, left. <laughs> I know, exactly. Right. Well, I Keep swipe going. with this other one. You don't see that guy coming? So, um, <laughs> anyway, that's the only thing. So, I don't know. I don't have any extra money coming in or anything, but I want to buy both just to be able to have other people participate. Is 1-2 Switch, a, I mean, I know you have to pay for it, but is it a $60 game? Man, the only game that I heard was less than that was Snipper Clips, which I'm really not going to be able to get anybody to play. Uh, twenty dollars. Mm. Mm. But that I, I'm not going to be able to play that with anybody. Nobody's going to want to play that crap. One two switches on Amazon for forty nine ninety nine. So not sixty dollars, but fifty dollars. Yeah, and it's supposed right. to have a grip of games in it. You know, what yeah, I'm one two milk a cow, and uh... <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's the only problem Nintendo gosh you're not helping out my cause any like I'm, I'm trying to get grown men to play this like grow 50 year old men I can't ask one, them two, to play put it back in the box <laughs> nope <laughs> one, one two, two put it back, put it back in the back box, in the box. <laughs> so uh, it just makes it weird. and I know everybody's like just don't tell them that one and I'm like I know but they're gonna say like what's that milk one and like uh we act like we're milking a cow. So, and that's video oh, games. You pull that udder and I pull this udder and we see who can do it faster. And we can see who can fill up the most glasses of milk. They're like, that's what gaming's come to. Like, I feel like people always <laughs> jump to like the worst thing when you say you're a gamer know, and course. then you show them a game and they're like, this, this is the game. This is video games. This is what your podcast is about. And you're like, <laughs> oh, man, no. Stop I'm just going to go sit outside the bus. Exactly. That's how, exactly how it feels. I'm going to go scooter someplace. Chris rode the scooter, <laughs> by the way. Oh, oh my nice. gosh. That scooter was amazing. I want to get one. Thank I don't have anywhere to go awesome. with it, but I want to get one. It's cool. You I can, like it. Yeah, you can go get your mail. That, well, yeah, that's true. I guess I could do that. Chris got one go anywhere else because it's so spread out. Weird neighborhoods where everybody go gets their mail from one place. I know. I hated that. When we moved in the neighborhood, that was the only thing I was like, man, that's just dumb. I want my own mailbox. Yeah, that's weird. Texas. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. No, it's just my neighborhood. It's normal back where I grew up <laughs> on the other side of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right. What else you got, Chris? All right. So Xbox has come out and said that they're going to be delivering an Xbox Game Pass subscription service. Hmm. And they're going to have over 100 Xbox One and backwards compatible Xbox 360 games for $10 a month. Ooh. Mm. So kind of like a, mm. the PlayStation thing? It's similar to PlayStation Now, except it's cheaper, and, and it's, it's got uh, new games. One of the yeah, one of the better things about it is that um, with Xbox Game Pass, you can discover and download <laughs> full games directly onto your console. No, excuse me. Yeah, sorry, I got a little choked <laughs> up. Get a little choked. You can download them straight to your console. 
<laughs> you can play them locally. So you don't have to stream. Yeah, so you don't have to stream them and you don't have any uh, issues with bandwidth or connectivity issues because it'll be local on your machine downloaded directly. Except hmm. you just have to get a 25,000 terabyte hard yeah. drive. <laughs> yeah. So um, the other thing awesome. that I'm not... Yeah, right? the one thing that I'm not completely sure about it is it says that every month new games will cycle into the, subscri- into the subscription and some will cycle out. Okay. So I'm not sure, like... I think the way that it works is if, like, it's similar to P- PS Plus or Games with Gold, where if a game is available during that time frame, you can get it and put it on your hard drive. Right. And if it go- even if, you know, it cycles out the next month, as long as you still have your subscription and you had already downloaded it, yeah, you can continue to have right. it. Are you oh, sure? Right. I think that's how it works. Nah, man. I doubt it. You don't think, you don't that's think not so? Work? Nah, not, not if they're doing new and old games. I think they'll probably, like, be like, hey, this one's not around right, anymore. You it. have to delete it. That's what no, I we're not sure. No it's not, way, not man. It's not like PS Plus or get because they already have games with gold and stuff. So that would yeah, be more true. akin to games with gold than it would be something new. That's true. Okay, hmm. so I'm a, here's here's what uh, this part of this article says. It but says I'm a there postulate. will be no lim- so, yeah, exactly. yeah, you postulate. <laughs> Intrinsically. Yeah. There will be no limit to the amount of Xbox One Pass games you can download at any given time. However, whenever you download a game from the Xbox Game Pass catalog, you do not own it unless you go on to purchase said game. This means that you will need an active Xbox Game Pass subscription service in order to play your downloaded games. So it is like an added... Hmm. So, I'm still not sure. So that does, still doesn't answer the question. Yeah, and there's another kind of key little piece of this where they said, um, if you have an Xbox Game Pass subscription and you download a game... And you want to, I guess this is kind of gives us our answer. If you want to continue playing it or you want to keep it after it's gone away, it says Xbox Game, Pla- Game Pass includes a 20% discount on Xbox One game purchases and 10% on related items such as season passes, DLC, that apply to the games in your catalog. So, oh, hmm. so you will have to buy know. it, it seems like it's, it's It seems like it's a bit of a, a mishmash between PlayStation Now and then like what Nintendo's going to be doing where the game's available for a month and then it may cycle out. So but if I'm it doesn't really cycle sure. out, you get to still play it. As long as you're still subscribed, yeah. So here's the so. real question. Do you have to yeah. have Xbox mm. Live to get the Xbox Pass? Yes, it says might... Xbox Live is required still. So now it's like... <laughs> now so, you have two uh, okay, subscription hear services. Me out. I'm not, yeah, I'm not dogging it already before it gets here. But I'm just saying we've, we've always complained that the Xbox games with gold aren't as good. As oh, wait, 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 real quick, real quick. It says, I, I read that wrong. It says, you will not need an Xbox Live. There Gold we go. Now oh, it's, hey, now there it's there worth it. Go. I'm doing it. Never mind. I saved us from that oops, guys. I, I, I changed my us. mind. Good job. Good save. Because that feels like if I have to have both, then all of a sudden I'm paying yeah. 70 bucks for um, right. for what I feel like I already get with PS Plus. Yeah. But yes. if it's yeah. by itself, $10 a month, I might sign up for that and EA Access. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like between obviously they're all a little bit different, but the three services that are somewhat in this genre. So PlayStation Now, obviously this Xbox Game Pass, and then EA Access. I still feel like EA Access is the best deal because that's thirty dollars a it. year, isn't it? Yeah, so you pay the thirty dollars a year, or you. I think there is a way to do it month to month, but it's better to just pay a yeah, it's year five dollars a month. And then once think. something goes into the vault, as long as you're subscribed, it's in the vault forever. Right. So mm. there's no like, oh, it could go away. But or they anything. take stuff out of the vault. Have they, they've taken things out of the vault? My understanding is once something's in the vault, it stays there. I've not heard of anything going out. I mean, it may have because I haven't looked into it that deeply. Yeah, I think but. things leave the vault on EA Access. Mm-hmm. And I ain't scared of them. Oops. Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, some, I, like I want somebody, I, if film. that's wrong, I want somebody to oops us because I want to know. Because I was always on the impression that once it had entered the EA vault, like it's there. And as long as you're subscribed, you have access to that game. No, so I don't think that's different. Right. Then I might take that back and say EA Access is not the that best. That would one. make the most Even sense. EA though. Access, we still have to remember, is thirty dollars a year, so it might still yeah, be the best deal. Yeah, it's a great deal. deal. That's, that's an incredible value. It's just that, like when I I teetered back and forth on doing EA Access, but it's like, man, I really don't play that many sports games. It's like almost it feels like the bulk of their catalog is sports games. I know they're not because there's Battlefield and and a couple of other things as well. But when I go there, all I see is like FIFA and Madden. Yeah. It's like, man. NBA Live is like, all right, well, <laughs> yeah. I guess maybe I will hold off a little bit longer. Chris, I'm with you because with EA, it was all like all the sports games, and I'm not going to, I'm not even going to deal with EA Access on it because, just because of that. The only thing I would do for EA would be like uh, Mass Effect, uh, like the Mass yeah. Effect series or something mm-hmm. like that. But 
it doesn't it doesn't make sense for me because I don't like I don't like to play any of those sports games. Right. Yeah, and I mean yeah, it's sense. good that Xbox did this not only because it's competition in the market, but it, it gives pretty much so like Sony's now got their PlayStation now if that's your thing, and then Xbox got this if that's your thing, and if you want to play a bunch of older games, then or games it could be fairly recent games like Halo Guardians is in there and Payday Two and NBA Two K Sixteen. So there's is newer stuff, but. I kind of look at all these services as like, hey, if you haven't been in this ecosystem for a long time, here's this back catalog of all these yeah. games you now have access to. And, and if you know that's what? your I, thing, you have an opportunity I like, to do that now. And I like the subscription service model anyway. Yeah. I use it for yeah. you know net like Netflix and that kind of stuff too. And I think that's kind of where it's going anyway. I would rather have uh, an like just pay a certain amount either a year or monthly or whatever and then be able to have access to a library if i wanted to go back to some other games Mm -hmm. uh that makes perfect sense for me Uh, you know i would love that they're definitely (coughs) differentiating themselves not only just the price but the fact that you can download the game directly and that's going to be that's kind of like a big deal for xbox because the biggest knock on playstation now i mean some people obviously have issues with the price and there's you can make arguments one way or the other on if the price is fair and justified but it's the fact that they're using Gaikai and streaming it over. It's like you have to have a pretty rock solid connection. Otherwise, the service mm. makes absolutely no sense for you. Whereas right, on exactly. this side, I mean, you still need a decent internet because, I mean, you're going to be downloading all these games that are huge, you know, files and you're going to need a decent internet. But once it's there, you don't have to worry about it. Or you, I wonder if you could download it like if you have great internet at work. Like, could you put it on a thumb drive and then download it to your console that way like you can other things? I wonder. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. That'd be a lot of power. And FAQ, on. I could ask that. Yeah, it's true. That might be like pirates. No, no. Yeah. yeah. R. Hey, sir, Ian Drake. Ian Carter. Ian Drake, Drake the pirate. <laughs> R. R. Me son loves your content. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, dude. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> that was funny. Um, so there's a Steam bundle going on right now. Mm-hmm. That's bringing what? a record 46 games. For one dollar, what? What? So I'm probably gonna do this just cause it's a dollar, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> but I had not heard of not one of these games. Of course. Oh, okay. Um, the games include such uh, blockbusters as <laughs> games as <laughs> Turbo Pug, Ooh, nice, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stone Age Wars. Mm, mm-hmm. Oh, they have um, that one. In the Gem- Stone Age, we make war. <laughs> Super Mustache. Oh, so yeah, yeah, mustache. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That's a good one. Uh, Star Chronicles Delta Quadrant. Mm, of course. Yep. Sounds like a game, yeah. Town of Night. Oh. Sure. <laughs> one dollar ride. Well, of course. Well, yeah, for, for one dollar, sure. Yep. Clergy Splode. Oh, uh-huh. no. <laughs> yeah, for... <laughs> Sorry, oh, Father. No. Yeah. Sorry, oh, Father. No. Catholics out there. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, new kind of adventure. Oh, well, good. Okay. Finally. Finally. Along with some kind We're of wonderful. For jo- Joanne's life. Oh, freaking Joanne. Yeah, she's yeah, one of the she's Bugs. the sequel to it was the, She's it was crazy. The, it was the tr- Where's Pat? The <laughs> trilogy of uh, Bugs Life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, Project Druid 2D Labyrinth Explorer. <laughs> you oh, sure you want wow. to spend a dollar? I think so. Yeah, right. I'm glad I'm they for... didn't shorten the title. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a uh, Tyler Perry presents Project oh, Dude <laughs> to the Labyrinth Explorer. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Hashtag is right. more time. Right. <laughs> a Spike Lee joint. Yeah, a Spike Lee joint. <laughs> Featuring Trogdor. Trogdor. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm probably gonna because this is the way I look at it. Yes, these are all like small indie games, but there's mm-hmm. got to be a fun one in there. If you find just one, there might be three fun ones. Yeah. Yeah, give it a shot, man. Like Hyper Color Ball mm-hmm. or Cosmic Dust and Rust or The Tower Sweet. of Elements. You never know. Oh, yeah. One of those three could be a really fun game. It could. Yeah. So That's true. You can get that over at bundlestars.com. Uh, it's a $66 value. So you're saving 98%. It ends in 12 days. How many games is it? 46. Wow. And it's a $66 value? <laughs> <laughs> you're saying that doesn't say too much about these games. Most well, of them were a dollar no, already right. anyway, is what you're saying. <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. I'm just checking my math. <laughs> yeah, he's just making sure Good the job, numbers Ed. add up. 
No, that's yeah, a that's good, good point. Ed. That's a really good point. It's not like it was Dishonored 2. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Mafia 3. But you're getting all of those $1 games for just $1. For just $1. Exactly. And I w- I'm usually the guy that buys stuff online and then goes and looks up a coupon code. I won't be doing that for this one. Oh, yeah. I don't think you need to. <laughs> I'll be paying the full <laughs> dollar. And we don't need Sarah McLaughlin to be singing, I will remember. Exactly. No, none of I'll that. I don't need anybody yeah. like, for a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you can get 46 games. Exactly. I'll check my diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> what else All you right, got? <laughs> what else Move you got? it along. What else you got, Your gaming supplies may be covered. <laughs> hey, that was good. <laughs> uh, okay, so we finally have some actual numbers for PlayStation VR. So Ooh. PlayStation Chief Andrew House came out and told the New York <laughs> Times last week that PlayStation VR has sold 915,000 units. <laughs> 915 units. I know, right? <laughs> 915,000 units, which is above their projections. They were hoping to sell about a million within six months, and it's only been four. They're close, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're close. It's only so been actually, four months? It came out in October. God, wow, that that's feels crazy. like it's been longer. And Five months, I the, guess. That was the end of October, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was like, uh, well, no, it was like the 13th or mid. middle of October. Yeah, mid. Yeah. So by comparison oh. right now, the they're saying that, um, let's see here, Sony's big, com, biggest competitors, uh, Facebook's Oculus and HTC Vive. So the Oculus right now, their numbers are at 243,000 and the Vive is at 420. And man, they're saying, I don't have the story pulled up, but rumor has it that Oculus is in big trouble. Like, oh man, might be going away. Losing that court case, like losing that court case and all that might, which granted, I'm assuming they're going to appeal if they haven't already. But yeah, I mean, they're they're kind of, I mean, granted, they've got Facebook money behind them, but ouch. Do you know offhand which of the two between Oculus and Vive are more expensive to pick up? I think the Vive, Vive right? Yeah. And and what are the numbers on those? 420,000 right now. And and what did the Oculus sell? 243,000. Wow. wow! So the Vive sold that, more. That's a win, then. Wow! Because yeah. the Vive, you can, uh, you know, do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. And well, that's, that's what, what it's, it's all about. about. Exactly. Yeah, the Vive no has, wires. <laughs> the Vive has the room scale VR. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So that's the ones with the cameras in the corner, and it kind of yeah. tracks right. you instead of you having to be have a bunch of cords going to your head like the Predator. And uh, I think you yep. can add sensors to the Oculus and do a similar thing. Like you can add more than just the one sensor it comes with. Mm-hmm. And you can have similar to room scale, but I don't think there's a way to make it legit room scale. I think there's a way that they're supposed to be bringing that later on. Um, mm-hmm. And if you add all mm-hmm. the different components with Oculus, it actually goes up in price, I think, fairly similar to what uh, the Vive is. Because like they have the touch controllers that came out oh, interesting. later on. Like if you add in all the different pieces, I think they kind of equal out. But Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. But like That's out cool. the door, the Oculus is cheaper. It's only like, or it was when it came out, only I think about six hundred dollars. Whereas the Vive was like eight hundred. I don't know what the current prices are because mm. I can't afford either, and I don't have a PC to run them, so I don't even pay attention. I know that's right. But yeah, I thought that was interesting that the PlayStation VR they finally came out and gave some kind of numbers, and nine hundred fifteen thousand is more than I kind of thought. I thought they might be like four or five hundred thousand, maybe. Yeah, I mean, yeah. compared to their competition. Compared to their competition, they're doing great. I mean, that's yeah. Which I mean, you had because I think it's more affordable too. Yeah, you always expected that of the three, they probably were going to be the best sellers just because of the fact that overall, comparatively, they're the cheapest option. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Yeah. so that's definitely helped them in it. I mean, it's not like they're comparable in in quality necessarily, but you don't need a high end PC to run it. You just need a PlayStation Four, and there's fifty five million of those out there right now. There's plenty of those out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Plenty of potential. So we'll see how it goes from here. Good. Um, I got a couple more things. Chris, you don't need to go anymore? I don't need to if you don't want me to. I got no, more stuff, though. No, I mean, uh, have to leave for work. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that, that got squashed, so I don't have to leave early today. Yes. Chris, happy birthday. It's your one-year anniversary. Would you like to leave now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, like y'all this got video? this. I'm going to go uh, get my feet rubbed. <laughs> you can leave the podcast bit. now. Can you leave now? <laughs> go kick your feet up and read some Swamp Thing since that's a comic. That's not oh, a comic. That's no, not it's a not. Comic. PC makes no sense. Get out of here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I didn't know this, and uh, but I guess it's been around for a while. I didn't know that Super Mario Brothers, the the theme song, had words. What? But it does have what? words. Yeah. I didn't no, know that. It yeah, they have official, like, Nintendo official lyrics. Sing it for us, Gabe. 
Well, here's the problem. It's in mm. Japanese. Sing but it for us, Gabe. I can yeah, read it for us, Gabe. Gabe. I can read you the translation, and it you makes can sing it for us. Zero yeah, you sense. Can sing us the translation. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, you know you want to. I do. I need to hear how it goes first. Because I forget do, do, which. Do, 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 do. Dum, bum, dum, bum, ta, dum, ba, dum. Okay, this is this is gonna make no sense. Sweet, <laughs> even better. <clears throat> <laughs> because in in Japanese the words are a lot shorter and so it it all fits. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Uh da 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 today full of energy. Mario's running, 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 running. go save Princess Peach. Go. Today full of energy. Mario runs. Today full of energy. <laughs> Jumping. Today full of energy. Searching for coins. Today keep going, Mario. Get a mushroom. It's Super Mario. Get a flower. It's Fire Mario. Goomba Troopa. Buzzy Beetle. Beat them all. Mario's always full of energy and strong. I mean, it just doesn't make much sense I, if I don't know how to do it in Japanese. I'm, I'm a little disappointed at the repetition of today's full of energy. I know today. Well, it's today full of energy. Mario runs, getting those coins, saving today, the peach. Yeah, I'm still disappointed in those full, lyrics. Full of energy, jumping, stepping on the Goomba. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> so so it, it goes the same way. Get a star, become invincible quickly. Go save Princess Peach. Uh, Lakitu, blooper, cheap, cheap, beat them all. Mario is always full of energy and strong. Today, full of energy. Mario is still running, running. Uh, he's made it to the castle and gets fireworks. This is a very literal song. Right. They weren't trying to be creative. Lightly sidestepping the hammer bros. Show the last of your power, Mario. It's been a long journey, but it's nearly at an end. You've done it. You've done it. You've defeated Bowser. Princess Peach says, thank you, Mario. Mario's got a great big heart. Mario's adventure is over for now, but Mario's dream lives forever. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is a song Vladimir Putin wrote about himself? <laughs> <laughs> like, you are strong. You are powerful. <laughs> yeah. Today, full of energy, Putin runs and he's jumping. <laughs> and you save the peach. You beat the Bowser. <laughs> he's got <Yeah>. no shirt. <laughs> um, so it was fan submitted lyrics to a Japanese radio station, and they were endorsed by Nintendo as official back in 1985. And then they released really? the, they and then uh yeah and then Mar uh they released the song also like a recorded version on vinyl. So what? you know <laughs> I love that Nintendo saw the lyrics and they were like, "Yep, these are official." Those are for sure. Running jumping is pretty much a it's tr pretty much a tutorial. <laughs> right. Press the A button if you want to jump, press the B button if you want to run real fast. There you go. Those Make sure you throw the fireball now. Yeah, exactly. It's probably split the other way, but you know, whichever. So funny. What else you got, Chris? Sorry, that was so terrible. That should have been more entertaining, but it wasn't very good. No, Sorry. I loved it. I thought it was amazing. I apologize. I wish I'd have wrote those lyrics. Um, Warner <laughs> Brothers has announced officially Middle of Earth Shadow of War, the sequel <laughs> yeah. to Shadow they of Mordor. They there we had are. Their, their, they kind of had their. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Hand force. Yeah, they had their hand. Yeah, yeah. They had their hand force because it was leaked by a retailer Target. the day before. And so they Target. kind of had, out of all retailers. Was it really? was it Target, wow. did it? Target, Target did it. Really? Yeah. Those snitches. <clears throat> yeah, but it's going to be coming out for the PlayStation 4, snitches the get Xbox snitches, One. Snitches Target. That's right, Target. Even though we're <laughs> still going to go and shop at your delightful stores. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for making a super Target. Thank you. Yay. Love it. Love my 5% off of my red card. That's right. Me too. Exactly. Uh, it's also going to include Project Scorpio support whenever it ends up releasing, if it is going to indeed be holiday this year. So, and the, Man, the trailer looks delayed. amazing. No now, way. I I played. Yeah, I had Shadow of Mordor, and I never ended up finishing it. It just didn't. What? Yeah. How I, I, dare you, sir? Man. Well, here's the thing. I here's the thing. Like, that. I was one of those people. Like when they first started, like the yes, information was coming out of this game. Of I was yep. like, wait a minute. This game's going to be awesome. It was like flying underneath everybody's radar, and then it comes out, and everybody loves it. And I'm like, why am I not loving this game that I've anticipated was going to be so awesome? Because I love all the Lord of the Rings stuff. I've got yes, movies. I've got stuff over here. I've got stuff on my shelves up here. Lord of the Rings is awesome. Yeah, but I went ahead. I saw this trailer, and I re-downloaded it. I was like, you know what? Wow. Once Horizon's over, i got to give oh, this one you, more man. go. Because yes, it's please do. I, now, granted, it's a CG trailer. And gameplay reveal is to come, I think, in a couple of days. But 
it just looks so good. I'm like, I yeah, want to amazing. love this game. So I'm mm. going to give Shadow of Mordor another shot because I please just, do. Yes, I just want to play. And they so said bad. they're bringing the Nemesis system back, which is awesome. Yes, yep. the, I love the Nemesis system, man. Even I had though so I much never fun got to that. do it for some reason, I don't know if it was just glitchy for me, but I never saw somebody that killed one of my friends on my friends list. Really? Yeah, ever. Oh, huh. I avenged. I avenged a couple people, and then they avenged me as well, which is which is pretty yeah. cool. That was something yeah. that I did oh, man, like. I had a lot of fun is, with the Nemesis system. Game is system. great. The Nemesis oh. system, for those that don't know, say a uh, router's playing Shadow of Mordor and he gets killed by an orc. If we're friends, then that orc might pop up in my game or an orc because they had like this really cool uh, orc generator to where they didn't look the same to anybody. Um, yeah, it was amazing. But it would say like if you saw him and you clicked on him or whatever, it would say like he'd killed your buddy and you could go. Mm. You can you know, avenge him. You can avenge yeah. him. And then you go kill him. And then it would tell Router, hey, this terrible username called Sabbath Gray avenged your death. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you got additional XP for that. I, I can't yeah, remember. I would imagine. I think you were you were rewarded for it if you were able to avenge him. So, yeah, hmm. it's, it was great. Gabe, you said you never saw somebody where it said, oh, so-and-so avenged you? I never saw an event... Uh, I never got avenged, and I never saw an orc that I could kill. Like where I said, this orc killed Router, so avenge right. him or anything like that. Right, this, wow. this orc hates bread and killed Bread Dang. Fan 35. <laughs> Man. <laughs> or and or Metallica, bread. either one. Never yeah. saw it. Yeah. Wow. So, that's you know, what are going to do? I think it's going to be great, though. I'm looking. <clears throat> that's why I posted that trailer on Twitter. I was like, "Oh, oh, oh yes, please." I can't that, wait. That is definitely. Yeah, I think what it looks I need. Awesome. I really. I need love that it. in my life now. I definitely need like another Shadow of Mordor in my life because I mm. loved that game. You know, I'm such a sucker just for the the world and the Lord of the Rings stuff that even if I play Shadow of Mordor again and I still am not really loving it, I'm probably getting this game regardless, just because I love the lore yeah, and the, the world so much. That's awesome. And I mean, it should be an improvement over the old in some way or another. So I mean, and the old was really good. Yeah, yeah, it can only I mean, get better, man. It can only get better. Yeah, I I know for like when I was not playing and when I when I was playing it and not really kind of getting into it, I knew it wasn't because like oh this is a bad game. I knew it was just like something's not clicking with me. It's like I'm not saying mm-hmm. this is this game's fault. It's my weird brain. <laughs> I got to get it figured out. Your nice. weird brain. Um, this is strange, and I I don't know. It's maybe it's not a big deal. You guys help me out. You guys won't care actually. So the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Yeah, not a big deal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, move on. <laughs> they have, they're going to be having, and and they have one coming out already called, uh, I don't know how to say this, Voz, V-O-E-Z. Mm-hmm. So because it's a touch game, it will only work in tablet mode. Hmm. And so this kind of brings up the, the case to where there's going to be all these touch games that come out, and you won't be able to play them on your television. And mm-hmm. I, just thought interesting. That, I just thought that was really interesting for people that, it pushes the portability aspect of it, but it's interesting to me that you won't be able to do some things. It's kind of like the gamepad. Like, if you didn't have the gamepad with your Wii U, then it wasn't going to work, period. Right. And yeah. so some of these games uh, won't work at all because the point they're making is, I guess, whatever the internal Tegra X1 chip that powers the Switch also powers a lot of other stuff. So they'll be able to port a lot of mobile games to the switch mm. if they want to. Um, but I, I just hope they don't do that. Cause I don't want to just become an iPad or an Android tablet. Yeah. That uh, seems weird. Yeah. So hopefully they pick and choose and, but uh, some games will only be able to be played in tablet mode. So I guess that's okay. Hmm. But you won't be able to have the full television experience on some of these. I've games. always looked at the switch. I mean, regardless of the narrative Nintendo has tried to paint, I've always looked at it as like, I feel like the vast majority of people are going to use this mostly as a portable device. Think like so? the hand, the, the docking stuff is just going to be more of like a kind of like with remote play on, on the PS4. Where it's like, it's a home console, but Hey, if you want to, you can do this little thing that, that works too. And you can use it remotely. I feel it was like the opposite with switch where I feel like, most people are going to use it portably and hmm. like, Oh, and also it kind of, if you want to, you can hook put it, it on your TV. TV. So you think yeah. Yeah. switch is more just, it's a tablet that's able to get put on your television. Not yes. a home that's console how I view it. that's yeah. able to take on the go. Yeah. I've yes. always viewed it more on the portable realm than the other. Really? Yeah. For me personally, that's how I've always. Right. Viewed it. I think right. you're right, man. I it think makes you're sense. absolutely right. 
makes sense to yep. me. And I mean, if they bring out uh, like a ton of these touch only games, well, then it's just going to push more and more towards that direction. Right. That's what mm-hmm. I was thinking. Yeah. But we'll just um, see. Right. You got anything else, Christopher? Uh, no, I'm out. Hey, I got a total side note. Gabe, are you home? I am. Okay, because we were supposed to get some pretty major storms coming in the next 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, that's what I, I was ac- I had to jump off the podcast because my uh, sister-in-law called me. She said, are you guys okay? I said, yeah, they're down in Spring Hill. We're supposed to get 70-mile-an-hour gusts and quarter-size hail. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> nice. Happy end of the world, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> so... So we're in a tornado watch up up until I think uh, I think it was eight. It could be earlier, but I, so far it's okay on over here. In it, yeah. and you're very close to me, so so far so good. Yeah, all quiet on the western front. Okay, um, good. I was gonna say they're trying to push um, Shinmu one and two HD remaster out this year before Shinmu three Never next year. Happen. Never what? gonna happen. Hmm. Yeah, they said Sega said it's got all of its attention. And they are working hard to uh, bring that to the peoples before. Move around um, some crates in HD. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, One. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That, that was, was the, awesome. That was the only editing I did on Shinmu. I was like, okay, we're going to be editing around moving these crates. Um, so they did uh, register domain names in January, Sega. Um, mm, okay. About Shinmu One and Two HD remasters, uh, remastered, and uh, retailer Rice Digital reports that remasters will be out. This is from a UK blog in 2017, so that would be beating Shinmu Three out. Uh, That's gonna next be year. late. It's got to be late. There's no way they're gonna turn that around that quickly. Yeah, we'll see. They said they've been working on it, so I, you know. Hmm. It's always hard to say with these kind of things. Um, but we got to remember, too, that, you know, Shinmu 3 did, like, break all the records for video gaming on Kickstarter. So if mm-hmm. any of that money, I don't know if, you know, this oh, that's yeah. not being done by Sega. That's being done just by Yu Suzuki. But hopefully Sega's seeing that and they're like, oh, well, this might be a way to get some money up in right. here instead of just releasing Sonic on Nintendo, which still feels weird to me because they're not supposed yeah. to be friends. It's like know, the Bloods right? and the Crips got together. Yeah, exactly. It was like, ah, I'm just kidding. Y'all want to race? Let's do some Olympic <laughs> games together. <laughs> uh, Eduardo. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on on the YouTube channel, my brother? Uh, before we get to the YouTube, I did want to pass along the Xbox Games with Gold for March. Ooh. Bring it. Oh, yeah. snap. Ooh, my I'm electricity's so- going in and out. Ooh, then you should get Layers of Fear available today nope. on Xbox One. Nope. Do it. It's so much fun. It's so good. I don't know about that. <laughs> Did you see me do Face Your Fears on YouTube? I'm not good with the fears. Man, yeah, there's nothing. fear in the title. There's <laughs> nothing. There's no creatures that pop out at you. You're fine. It's all just psychological. It is? Yeah, it's like Paranormal Activity where you actually don't really see anything. It's just all mood and you're... Like Blair Witch? Yeah, man, it's awesome. You should get it. Mm -mm. Available March 1st through the 31st on the Xbox One. Uh, Available on the Xbox One March 16th to April 15th, Evolve Ultimate Edition. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Get that crap if it's free. I know, right? fun with your friends. I want to try that out. Evolve already had gone free to play. Was it not? No, it had gone free to play on PC. Oh, Oh, right. Mm -hmm. And they said that uh, they want to bring it to the consoles remember they tweeted at us oh that's right and they said they were wanting to bring it to a uh, console but it, that's not all the right case it's yet. getting scary yeah. out right now yeah it's getting it's about to get buck it, yeah open this piece <laughs> uh available march the rain 1st. is diagonal. diagonal is it oh yeah heavy rain i can't see outside uh available march 1st to the 15th on xbox 360 and xbox one borderlands 2 Ooh, there you go there you I didn't go love stepping it, but it up. a lot of people like it go get it i know right and uh-huh. then march 16th to the fir- the 31st on xbox 360 and xbox one heavy weapon that's the only one i'm not i've not heard of or i'm not familiar with hmm. so there you uh-huh. go there we uh, go over on the youtubes as chris mentioned horizon zero dawn parts one and two go check those out 
Uh, more coming. Uh, more coming. Watch they mouths. Uh, looking at our <laughs> top 10 YouTube videos, combined average watch time and views for the week of February 20th through the 26th. Number 10, Gabe and Chris react to State of Decay, Halo Wars 2. Well done. Oh, okay. Number nine, Married to the Games, episode 232, intrinsically postulating. Number oh, eight, Sniper Elite 4, okay? part... Th- what happened? No, it's just Dude, the stuff is... One second. Oh, Wh- I thought you fell wind- down. Yeah, winds are a-blowing right now. What is that furiously do, typing? Do y'all, do y'all need to take shelter? I know what's no, going on. I mean, we're in shelter, but I don't know what it's like. It's blowing all kind of shingles around. Get in the doorway. Wait, that's her place. <laughs> Go outside. Get in the tub. Look at the blanket on. Get the tub. Go by a window real quick. Yeah, exactly. Dig a hole. Go look outside. I, I, just, I just did. It's, it's, it's definitely raining. Wow. All right, continue. All right. Uh, number eight, Sniper Elite 4, Part 3, Sansalini Island, Destroy Cameras. Number seven, Gabe and Chris react to Resident Evil 7. Mm. Nice. Number six, Hugh, Part 11, The Ending. Number five, here we go, Watch Dogs 2, Part 6, Bottom Dollar Complete. Number four, Watch Dogs 2, Part 5, Bottom Dollar Fail. Number three, Watch Dogs 2, Part 48, Ghost Signals. Number two, Watch Dogs 2, Part 19, Paint Job. Mm. And it, as always, number one, Gabe and Chris react to The Last uh, of Us Part 2. Yeah! As always. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Just for Man. a little while longer. We'll be dethroned shortly. I can feel it. Yeah, I will. don't feel it. I'm looking at the numbers, and I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't feel it either. It's been very, very consistent for the know, past right? month and a half. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Um, thank you, Eduardo. You're welcome. Well, every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. We asked you guys, what was your worst glitch in gaming? Mm. Starting over at the forum, we got the Cage Master. Ooh. Ooh. My very first glitch I can remember was in Skyrim. During one of the early quests for a guild, I had to steal a ring. When I opened the box it was in, there were two of the quest items. So, mm. silly me, I grabbed them both, only to find out that having both rings confused the NPC, making the quest impossible to complete. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that stinks. Jeez. Yeah, that's no fun. What the heck? Uh, Greg Leg. The Atari 7800 version of Impossible Mission had a bug in it that made it literally impossible to finish. Of course, at the time, we didn't have the internet to tell us that and smacked Mm. right up against that bug. I did finish it on the Commodore 64, though, so not all is lost. The other big one I can remember is the tape reader eating my save cassette for my best game of Tunnels of Doom on our TI. Do physical world issues count? That's funny. Hmm. Uh, Jared Orr. So last night I was playing Neo or Nio. I don't know how you say it. You know, the real Neo. tough game that is a lot like Dark Souls. I've been playing all day and had reached the final boss. Mm. After Ooh. approximately six to ten attempts to beat said boss, I finally mm-hmm. emerged victorious. Ta-da. As the final cutscene began to play, I sprung from my chair and raised my arms in a classic victory pose. Mm. Then... As I brought my eyes back to the screen, Uh the game froze. What? No! My fear (laughs) was that the save was gone. 50 hours of playtime down the drain. But Mm. to my relief, when I booted up Neo the following morning, my character was at the save point right before the boss. There you go. I proceeded to defeat the boss first try and... What? The final cutscene played without a hitch. Not the worst glitch ever. But a scary one nonetheless. Very nice. Yeah, I'm glad that worked out. Yeah, exactly. That would have been horrible. Over on Facebook, Mark Boucher. Mm. I don't know about worst, but one of the most... uh Uh-oh. My my phone's going off. Tornado warning in this area till 7.30. Take shelter now. Check local media. Uh, We'll probably hear our sirens in a second. Yeah, they're not going off just yet. Uh, Nope. I don't know about worse, but one of the most hilarious was when I played Batman Arkham Oranges, or I mean, <laughs> Origins. Nice. Yeah. There was a point where I had to glide down onto a broken piece of bridge and fight some enemies there. When I landed, Batman got into a fight stance as it triggered into battle, and so did the enemies. The glitch, however, was that I couldn't throw a punch, and neither could they. 
We were basically just uh, dancing around each other while we stared awesome. maliciously at one another. <laughs> yeah. I had to restart the game to get it to work correctly. That's awesome. The stare down. <laughs> That's funny. Scott Bores, my worst was Lego Dimensions. I had everything complete that I could do. Then the Doctor Who pack came out. Picked yeah. it up, got through the level, and the game crashed while it was auto-saving. Mm. Mm. I am muttering, no, 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 no. I go to load the game back up, save file corrupted. Uh, I got what? close to 70 hours on this game. And the worst mm. part is my wife is on the couch on her laptop, and I'm saying no again. She looks over at me and says, are you going to cry? There it is. <laughs> All I can say is maybe. I didn't cry, <laughs> but I haven't touched the game since. Oh, no. Oh, I hate when that ruins a game. A glitch oh, ruins a game for Right. It. There goes our tornado silence. Sorry. There they are. Yep. Um, over on Twitter. <laughs> Just keep it on going. Yeah, yeah man. man. What are you going to do? <laughs> Nate Ingberg. Kids, if you hear tornado silence going off, get to the bathroom. The tub. Yeah, do acid first, though. <laughs> no, do not. Do not do that. Uh, at Nate Ingberg. <laughs> not a bad glitch. My sister and I would lay so many bananas. Uh, it says not a bad glitch, but my my sister and I would lay so many bananas in Mario Kart 64 battle that the game couldn't render them all. That's no. awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> Hashtag. That's really cool. Invisible bananas. I love that. That is funny. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> Gerald Schneider, the second at uh, Hoff Snuff Snuff. I forget how we said that. Hoff <laughs> Snarf Snarf. Are you sure? Uh, <laughs> I was playing Minecraft and it froze up. I tried to use the backup file, but it was corrupted. I lost about six months of saves. He played that game for six months. I know. Wow. Wow. Yeah, baby. Yep. It's time. Yeah, I'll come down there. Just a second. <laughs> yep. We should probably get in the tubs. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Chris, you and I got this from the end. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where do we get questions from? Crap, I gotta look it up. Exactly. <laughs> right. Johnny Casino at Johnny Casino. My gaming ability is normally my biggest glitch. Mm. I thought that was hilarious. It's like a war zone. I know, it's crazy out there. It's awfully calm right now, though, which is really scary. It yeah, is. It's like everything, the eye just, of the storm. The eye. everything just calmed down for a second. There's no nothing, and the sirens are going off, but it's, uh, it's any, coming. Do you hear any locomotions? Yeah, do you Locomotive? hear a freight train? No, no, not yet. I don't hear a train either. Is the sky green? Train. Getting there. I don't know. I mean, we're, we're definitely in the, we'll be in the heart of it. Here but I middle. think yeah. it may be a little bit more south, too. Yeah, like I'm looking at the, uh, oh, I'm looking at yeah, the Yeah, check the radar. I'm, let's see, how's it? Always look to the future, Gabe. Current. Always. Yeah, it's, yeah. let's see, we're on the, like people want to know where we're at in the storm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the storm's about to hit us. Yeah, this is going to be a forecast of of a weather pattern in the past. Yeah, you to exactly, it. <laughs> that's right. A postcast, exactly. Yeah. A postcast. Do you guys want to? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, side note: you want to just do try to do questions tonight? We'll hop on together yeah. and do questions tonight, quick. Uh, yeah, sure. I can do that. Jenny's going to want me yeah. to come, yeah, come I mean, back. You, you I think guys we should. Need to, we need to, to go, go. Get safe. I want yeah, to be able to do questions, so y'all need to be alive. Exactly. Yeah, it's, right? it's the red is coming right now. We're actually going to get into the heart of it. So. All right. All right. Yeah, we'll let's go tonight. ahead and pause. Chris. Chris, it happened. We get, we've destroyed them. We know who rule the podcast. Yes. It only took one year, but finally, our, Married to the Games is ours. Our prayers we to have, the weather gods have been answered. Yes. We need to do more of those, those dances and cast the spells. I know, right? It finally worked. All right. From now on, it's married to uh, Chris and Ed. <laughs> yes. Married <laughs> to Chris and Ed. Awesome. <laughs> Okay. Enough what? with the shenanigans, you two. <laughs> Sorry. We were just never mind. Dang no, it, they I, came I, back. Yep, exactly. Ah, we came back. The takeover, the hostile takeover, <laughs> have to wait for it later. You weren't supposed to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, well. Exactly. <laughs> you would have got Go away to private with message, it. Chris. Go to private <laughs> message. <laughs> you would have got oh away with it too if it wasn't for those pesky kids and that dog. <laughs> um, so just in case anybody's wondering why me and Tim had to leave, it's because mm -hmm. we had tornadoes. And we what? actually <laughs> had tornadoes. 
We yeah, did. You three, did. We had three touchdowns in Davidson and Williamson County. Yeah, so it wasn't like uh, wow. we just were scaredy cats. I would have stayed on, but my wife was calling me to the bathroom. And that's <laughs> yeah. hilarious because my wife did the exact same thing at probably the exact yeah, same time. Yeah, she was like, you don't want to come be with me and the kids? Oh. Right. <laughs> I was like, but I'm having so much don't fun. Don't you lo- love that? I'm having so much fun <laughs> exactly. looking out this window. <laughs> that's right what's up passive aggressive <laughs> that's right so she was she was just waking up because uh you know she yeah. wouldn't have usually been up yet oh yeah when definitely. that tornado alarm started going off yeah that'll wake yeah, you up kind of loud and then so. the kids yeah, woke up. that definitely wakes yeah it definitely wakes you yeah. up and we're Does right job we live right by the park where it goes off mm-hmm. so we're like right under it mm-hmm Okay, so we're back, and now it's it's all of a sudden turned into a night show. Night show. What's your host, Meridian? Come and get it. So P M M M. Get it before, then, after hours. Hours. Oh, <laughs> yes, man. So I, I mean, I don't know if we've ever let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> I don't know if we've ever <laughs> we had cotton socks and now I have my silk stockings on. Um, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know if we've ever let the cat out of the bag before, but this is not a first time that we've had to stop the podcast and then record the rest of it later. But that's kind of fun. So we had a morning show for the, yeah. the news and the catch ups. And now we get to do a I'm night show you, for the questions. Sorry for the whiplash. The world just wants us doing night shows. It's like I'm going to find a way. Yeah, exactly. Seriously. Send them a tornado. Poseidon and his minions. <laughs> Throw them a tornado. Uh, I know he controls the sea, everybody. That's right. We I was get just it. throwing out a god. Uh, minions were despicable me, not Greek <laughs> mythology. <laughs> Hashtag MTTG oops. Hashtag sticklers. <laughs> we're sorry. Oh, man. All right. I like how we ask people to do MTTG oops and then yell at them Everything for was it. good on your, your, your side. Did you have any damage or anything? No, I went outside and checked the, the shingles because I did like step away from the mic for a second because it sounded like every shingle mm. on my roof flew off. <laughs> it was right. Mm. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, I came back out and there was a bunch of tree branches down. Nothing hit the car. So that was good. Nice. Good. Uh, That's good. good. Yep. Um, uh, my neighbor's mailbox did get blown off the post. Oh, man. Oh, wow. And all the, it was trash day today. So I feel, no, it was trash day oh, yesterday. Man. No. So, right. um, so some of us still had our trash cans out there from yesterday. So all oh, those were blown slackers. over. For sure. Yep. All those empty trash cans. And all the empty the trash cans. Really light. Right. Yeah, and the squirrels were like, oh, man, there ain't nothing even in those things. <laughs> um, but everything was, was good over hungry. here. Router, everything was good at your house. That's good. Yeah, uh, it was pretty good. And then we called our friend Pauline, and she was, like, shaken up because the touchdown basically happened right in her area. Mm. Mm. So uh, we – and Pierre's out of town. He's at a conference in Vegas. So we uh, all hopped in the car after it, it stopped doing its thing. And we went over there, and we couldn't even get to her uh, her driveway because there were some fallen trees. Yep. So well, we got out, and there was a neighbor that had a chainsaw, and we just started cutting and clearing clearing the path there and then going over to her house. And she had about 11 trees down. Wow. Uh, hmm. dif- different parts of her fences were down, shingles blown off. And, um, yeah, man, but n- nothing crazy, crazy, but enough to just be like, whoa. Yeah, just and enough I feel to be bad annoying. Because, like, she's... Yeah, because she's just by herself when when Pierre's gone, and so she was just. I mean, she woke up and she heard the you know the train sound that a tornado makes. It wasn't technically a touchdown. It didn't touch down until Cool Springs, but she's right mm. there behind BGA. Oh, okay. so it it was wow. it was a high sheer wind that did all this, and then once it crossed over toward Cool Springs, then it actually did touch down. She was like, "Here it comes!" Wow. And I was like, "Woo woo, come on, ride this train!" Yeah. And, and ride it. Woo, woo. Come on, ride this train. She was like, shoot, a tornado's hey, coming. Ride it. That's right. A, a dance tornado's coming. Yeah, that's the sound it so, makes. Um, so I was out there, uh, I, and it was it was actually like neighbors helping neighbors. It was a lot of fun, and just be out there and clearing trees. I, I was full of sap yeah. and just drenched, but it was totally worth it and just, just to get everything cleaned but nothing up. nothing at your house? And she actually, no, nothing at our, our house was good. I heard some good. cars uh, got moved at Cool Springs parking lot. Yeah, what? I believe it. Oh, yeah, some wow. cars got moved around, and like a full tree was uprooted and laying laying down in the parking lot. Everywhere, wow. ain't no joke. They just do what they want to do. I'm, that's what I'm exactly. saying. It's so weird, like because I'm I'm not trying to see a tornado up close, but like the strength 
of something to uproot a tree. Like I've tried oh, to break yeah. a branch off a tree before and it didn't work. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah. how does a, <laughs> some wind pull a tree up from the roots? Yeah. And, and move a car. Yeah. But here's, yeah. here's another weird one. And I haven't, I didn't I, see much of this because you think that that's like the, a strong force, but there's another strong force. Cause Pauline has these two really tall pine trees. Mm. It sheared the top of the pine trees clean off and through the top, like at least 50 yards. No the other way. way. It was insane. It was, I'd never seen that before. Like just the top looked like it had been just chopped by just, a saw. Well, just ripped off and then just thrown. It was weird. My gosh, wow. man. Yeah, it's crazy. That's I'm nice. glad I don't live in Kansas. Or glad everybody's like okay. Now it's 33 degrees at night because we apparently had a cold front come in. Oh, it's 33. Yes. But today was beautiful. It got up to 70. Yeah, it was great. Wow. Like, nice. We're all out in our short sleeves and like, <laughs> I love after a storm. Meanwhile, people are like, oh, isn't it great? <laughs> I lost my dog. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it threw my dog. Exactly. It's like, that's what they yeah. say about the South. They're like, what <laughs> they say what's the what's the <laughs> this is such a stupid yeah, we're about joke, to get in trouble for anyway. this yeah i'll probably bring, bring a dad joke yeah exactly bring it's it. a dad joke they said what a, what nah. is what is what is a tornado and a divorce in the south have in common somebody gonna lose a trailer no oh, snap <laughs> i love that joke i'll be here all night <laughs> that's right you will i love that so much oh, E- <coughs> <Evening> router. <laughs> yes, sir. Evening segment. Evening, Evening jokes. Segment. <laughs> Evening jokes. Not sexy, but dad. <laughs> Evening dad jokes. Dad Just as corny <laughs> after dark. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, uh, Chris? Yeah, what's up? Oh, uh, rate us on iTunes <laughs> so that we can always survive the tornado. That's oh. right. I totally forgot. I was like, wait, what? Oh, yeah. We do this thing. Well, let's get into some questions. We're going to start with some Facebookage. Corey Drake, what game is your Eleanor, quote, end quote, the one game you wish you could find but constantly eludes you? Mm, Power Stone. I was going to say Shenmue for you, oh, right? Dreamcast. Well, I ended up getting Shenmue on the Xbox, and I found it for the Dreamcast, but it's the Japanese version, which has got better uh, voiceover, but it's in Japanese. Sure. And so I don't Konnichiwa. know if they have English subtitles, so I'll have to like go on YouTube and figure out how to get to the options because it'll all be in Japanese probably. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I've looked for the European version, but it's very rare and very expensive. Um, but I mean, Power Stone on the Dreamcast is another one that I keep my eye out for, and uh, it it is dodging a brother. Hmm. Nice. What about uh, you, Ed? You don't really look for games. Uh, I don't think I, ha- I. I don't. I don't understand what Eleanor means. Eleanor was the car in um, Gone yeah. in sixty seconds with Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, he's always looking for Eleanor, and it was a Porsche. No, no, no. Yeah, no, Porsche. No. Right. Come on now. No, no, no. no. It was a Mustang GT. Yes. Yeah. Come on now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm the one that, that took a Euro picture. I'm, a, out of here. I'm the one that took a picture in, in one and on sent, this one. put it on Twitter. I got to sit, <laughs> I got to sit in an Eleanor replica and start her up and drive her like ten feet, and it was nice. amazing. And she wow. sounded excellent. Had a NOS switch and everything. No NOS. That was the coolest Porsche you'd ever you'd ever driven, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, Mustang GT. <laughs> Gray with black stripes. GT 500. Whatever. I don't like Mustangs <laughs> except for that one. Aww. Ed, uh, do you have a game? I don't think I do. I think maybe it was You Don't Know Jack, but then they brought it to consoles, so I guess I think I'm good now. There you go. Chris? Yep. Uh, I would say Runner 3 on PlayStation 4. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to elude you. I'm hoping I can find that one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep the faith. Exactly. It's a timed exclusive. It's a timed exclusive. Yeah. Timmy, what about you? Uh, whichever finds me great joy, that's the one I'm looking for. But does it elude you? No, there's no illusion. No, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. Mm. So no, what? it's, it's like, I, I don't find, I don't like actively hunt games because I'm, I'm kind of the moder- 
I'm more of the modern gamer. Uh -huh. So it's just yeah, one of those true. things where I'm, I'm not looking for yeah. previous games that got away. Like, I'm always looking to the next thing. That's, That's true. true. There you go. Yeah, I've always found every game I was looking for. So I've never looked for anything super exotic and not found it. So Right. And cool. I still... Yeah, okay, yeah, bring it on. <laughs> Bono, let's go. And I still table. always find what I'm looking for. <laughs> In video <laughs> games? Yeah, because I know their stuff at Lowe's. Because <laughs> it's digital. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's digital. Well, it could be on disc, too, if you're old school. <laughs> but it might be harder to find. Yeah, but I went to CDKeys. <laughs> but at least I, I can share it more. That's I'm just going to stay on this note. <laughs> <laughs> Monotone. Key change, go! <laughs> Key change, go! All right. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, moving on. Jenna Kirby. Here we go. Oh, I want to start with a huge shout out to Gabe and Chris for making Tristan's birthday so special. I feel so blessed to have people that love my son want to help celebrate his awesomeness. Mm. Now for my question. Aww. If you if you can make your own concert lineup with four different bands or artists of all time oh. that you oh. haven't seen but would yep. love to see live. Who would they be? Mine wow. would be Louis Arm. This is great. Mine would be wow. Louis Armstrong, awesome, Usher, Frank Sinatra, and Michael Jackson. Oh, that's a good mm. list. That's it's a great lineup. That's a really good list. Wow. Uh, I would say the Beatles. Yep. Even though I don't know much about the Beatles. Yep. Um, Michael Jackson has to be on there. Um. I think I'd want to see Elvis. Yeah. And and just know what the power was behind it, you know what I'm saying? Mhm. Mm yeah. And uh oh man, I had a fourth and it just slipped me. Shoot. Let's see. Beatles, Mike Jackson, Elvis. And Shoot, man, I don't know. I don't know my fourth. Somebody else go. I'll figure it out. Ed uh yeah, you got two of mine. I would have said Beatles, Elvis. Um Wow. Justin Timberlake and Bruno Mars. Ooh. Ooh, there you go. It's not too late for those two. I know. I, yeah, I can right. I can get a couple of them. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Dreams do come true. Chris. Metallica. Uh Nirvana. No, I've already seen them. So And you're about count. to see them. Um, mm. Yeah, I'll see them again in June. Nice. Oh, nice. Um, I want to see Nirvana. I want to see Ooh. Um, Ooh. Smashing Pumpkins in their prime. Ooh, I never saw, saw them, them as they were. I think they're coming back around, but I want to see them in their prime. Uh, I'm going to go Michael Jackson as well. Really? And then I want to see I want to see uh, the Fugees. Oh, oh Chris. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Our, yeah. our friendship just grew three experience points. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah, that it separation you had up. has that, now been rekindled. Like, well literally done. Literally because our musical tastes are so different, I can't believe you just said two artists that I absolutely love. Hmm. Yeah, well, Michael Jackson, Jackson and the I mean, Fugees. Like, the Michael Jackson is just you have. To, I mean, I wish I could have seen him. That's just art. Like Ed didn't want to see Michael Jackson. I'm good. Well, I wanted uh, to yeah. see Michael Jackson when he was still black. Well, I wanted to see him really during pretty early on. So Jackson <laughs> yeah, well, is what you mean, <laughs> right? That's what I'm, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thriller. thinking off the wall, off the wall, and Thriller, thriller are yeah. the yeah. best albums of Michael Jackson ever, hands down. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I agree with that. Ever those, the, I can listen to those records all day long. Yeah. So yeah. is so, yours one of yours black Michael Jackson? Y yes. So my yeah. So one of mine is black Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. I, that's that would be also, Ray Vitiligo, Michael Jackson. <clears throat> right. Uh, I would. I also am going to take one from Jenna and say Louis Armstrong. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. Hmm. That would really be cool. Um, all right. So Michael Jackson, Louis Armstrong. Dang it. Hmm. I know. I don't know why I'm struggling on a fourth. Like there's, it's. Oh, yeah. uh, I wouldn't mind seeing. Um, shoot. Well, it's kind of a tie. I kind of want to see uh, Kravitz at his prime, hmm. and I wouldn't. Awesome. Mind, oh, okay. yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing a uh, old Jimmy. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Jimi Hendrix. That is wailing on some guitar. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Just Woodstock. That's <laughs> pretty right? much. Yeah. You just, just do Woodstock. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of another two. Come on. I know. I know. Um, because you saw Timberlake, right? Yeah, I saw Timberlake. Uh, about Timberland. Just... <laughs> That'd be a terrible. Show. <laughs> I, I, I saw him. I saw him with Timberlake. Actually. Oh, nice. I saw Kanye when oh. he was when he was still a pop artist. <laughs> oh man, when he was um, still human. Yeah, and I saw Beyonce when she still cared about making sense. 
about dance <laughs> and good times. <laughs> Which, <laughs> not having twins. Yeah, before she was like, you know what? I think I, yeah, let's do 10 minutes of me being worshiped. That sounds good. You fun. know what? I'm there the first go. woman to have twins. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. Let me float on this chair. I almost thought I was watching Children of Men again. I was like, do women not get pregnant anymore? <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'm i going to take one from Chris and say Nirvana. I think that would be pretty cool. That was nice. I ain't going to be mad at you at all for saying no, that. No, man. That was that was that first record was was just mind blowing. Well, not first record, but their breakout record was, was yeah. just never mind. It revolutionized yeah. everything. Yeah, like never mind was ridiculous. On there. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and yep. uh, I'm gonna say because I never saw him, the Notorious B.I.G. Ooh, wow, nice. There you go. Yeah. Oh, okay. I should say the know, Fugees. Really, me and Chris can go to the Fugees concert together. I know. Oh, I thought of Bob Ready Marley too. Here we come. Bob Marley would be pretty amazing to see live. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Exodus. I, yep. Nice. Don't worry. It'd be such a chill. It would be such a chill I concert. Think. It'd be awesome. I know. We get a contact high. Yeah, like, sure. <laughs> right. It'd be like, like the dude. London Philharmonic would be awesome. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Ooh yeah, man, I like that. Yeah, you'd be driving home. What about from G- Bob Marley? Like, dude, I get it now. Dude, <laughs> and I'm so hungry. Can we stop at that taco bar? I get it. Yeah, um, past the I, really, I would love I really. to see. Hey, I'll take it a step further. I'd, I'd love to see John Williams conducting the London Philharmonic. That's just what I was gonna say. Yeah. Ooh. No, see, this is why Damn. we're. We are brothers. So <laughs> awesome. Great question, Jenna. Thank you for that. That was a good question. Yeah, that was a good question. Yeah, that's that's uh, sister bread fan. Yeah. That's, that's right. D high. Hardest workout you've ever done. I would say boot camp in the Navy. Outside of that, it's the insanity DVDs. Shout out to Sean yeah. T. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I d I can't I can't figure out if the T twenty five stuff I've done was harder. Then, or P90X was harder. P90X was really? longer. Yeah, that's for sure. But the T25 yeah. doesn't have any breaks, and it's all stuff I can't do. Right. So, yeah. uh, but then the show is tough. Oh, yeah. Man. I'm going to go P90X because it was the first workout I ever like did that was a DVD set type thing. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. uh, it's just brutal, man. If, when you go from it not is. working out ever to P90X, it's, yeah. you're setting yeah. yourself up for failure. I'm going to go P90X. Well, and, yeah, you are. <laughs> and now that <laughs> they're are. all like a half hour long, if you go back to P90X when it's an hour, sometimes an hour plus, it's yes. just like, oh my and gosh. And the P90X yoga was an hour and a half. Yeah, it was. And, oh, wow. and I, you have to remember too, I was doing it on the road, so we did it as men all together so nobody would quit. Oh, and right. And so like, you know when you like, yeah. should be sitting it out? Because you're going to, like, the first time I did plyometrics, I ripped the muscles in my legs so bad I couldn't oh my walk gosh. like five days. I'm <laughs> oh not kidding. Gosh. It was five days because I, didn't, I couldn't give my muscles a rest. We still had to do the show. And so yeah. I'm jumping yeah. off trampolines and all this stuff. And I, I mean, just excruciating pain. It was oh crazy. Gosh. Oh, wow. Gabe's like, I don't need to modify. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Chris? Uh, I mean, I am not doing a ton of workout stuff. The only thing I've done DVD wise or anything like that is the 22 minute hardcore that I got from router. And so I'm going to say that one, that one's kicked my tail. A few that was times. a good yeah. one. There you go. Yeah. Ed, what about you? You know all about the situations. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going with insanity because like you said, it just doesn't stop. And yeah, it's a lot of stuff up. that really kicks my butt. So mm-hmm. mm. Timmy ridiculous. Um, back in the day, I used to wrestle. And the first time that I, I that I did it, like I nearly threw up. Like just really? when we had when we had practice, it was just insane. But I yeah. loved wrestling. I dropped. I started it in eighth grade, and I dropped sixteen pounds in like just like that. Wow! And it was it was amazing. But man, those workouts were tough. Yeah, yeah. I but, bet. but more modern day, like I think the the P ninety X series. Uh, it's very challenging because it's it's all about like muscle growth and like if you haven't done it yet it, it's gonna hurt it for a, for a while but it, what I love is that it, it does challenge you mm-hmm. um, to to and you know you have those worksheets so it kind of challenges you to go further the next time and the next time mm-hmm. yeah yeah you know, it's I don't good. like it good good question <laughs> you don't, like, don't it. like it but Gabe you pretty much have a workout every night. With the show anyway, though, man. I mean, that's the thing that keeps me from being 350 pounds. Yeah, exactly. Because I Cause like you're always uh, out there. Yeah, because I like Fritos. And who doesn't? <laughs> All right, moving on to Twitter. Tw- Twitter at dspin67. Question for each of you: Ed, best coffee shop? Square One, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Of course, of course. 
Chris, best burger spot? Hop Dotties. Ooh. Gabe, best donut spot? I mean, people are going to hate me, but, well, there's two. If you're just talking about out and about and you're just a regular person, <laughs> I, can't, I can't get away from them Krispy Kremes, man. I mean, they're just, yes, they're, yeah, I think there's crack in the, in, the, in the situation. But here in Nashville, yep. there's a place called Five Daughters, mm. and mm-hmm. that donut will make you want to slap your mother across the face. Uh, wow. Twice. Nice. Actually, twice. Yeah, and yeah. she'll be Max, so Max. mad at you until she tastes the donut. She'll be like, oh, I get it with her swollen cheek. <laughs> so the it's more details. like overall good it. <laughs> yeah. I can't eat it because I can't open my mouth, but I get uh-huh. it. Uh, and then for me, it says Tim, best steak spot. Man, I just recently went back to Stony River here in in uh, in Cool Springs and had a coffee cured steak mm. that was Ooh. absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna say nice. Um, Stony River. Yeah, that place is delicious. That I, coffee cured steak, boy. Mm, mm-mm. And I never tried it before. I usually just get like one of their fillets, but I'm like, I'm gonna go it with is the so coffee good. cured, mm-hmm. and I'm so glad I did. It was delicious. That's what I get nice. every time. Oh, okay, good to know. Or the Kobe steak uh, ham cheeseburger. Woo-hoo. Oh Ooh, yeah, that is good. good. Lord, for just yeah, if you want to feel like just laying there and feeling bad about yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but enjoying every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> Great question. Uh, Eric Green at The Art of Bacon. Our game file size is too big. I can't play Horizon simply because it's still downloading. 40 gigs is a lot. Is that what the update is? I mean, he... he <laughs> or is that the actual game? The whole game. Yeah, that's the initial download. Wow. If it's a fun game, I don't mind, you know, I don't, uh, I mean, waiting, I don't, a bit, waiting a bit for I it. I don't think they're too big. Um, I mean, I think once it... It depends on your excitement level, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess it's more about, to me, that internet like bandwidth is just not what it needs to be like nationwide. Yeah, That's more the yeah. issue than the actual size. Because, I mean, hard drives Good are call. cheap these days, really. And if you think about it, especially because once PS4 adds the expandability via through the USB, like external hard drives, you pretty much got access to eight terabytes if you want to hook that much up. Mm-hmm. I mean, space really is not the issue. Yeah, it's definitely opinion. becoming less and less an issue now. Yeah. It's more the bandwidth and the whatever you have access to and the, how long it takes to download. Right. Um, you know, so I, like I said, I think it's about excitement level because size really doesn't matter um, because there's games like, because <laughs> <laughs> there's games like Overcooked where you'll get hours and hours of enjoyment and, that, yes. you know, it's not that big a download. And then you have, mm-hmm. obviously you have the Battlefield, you have the, these AAA games that take, you know, forever to download depending on your internet. And uh, mm-hmm. so I think it's just, you know, it's all about that, I, you know, but yeah. I think, you know, amazing things come in small packages as well. Mm-hmm. There yep. you go. Agreed. Awesome. Good question. Uh, Lucas Ham. Uh, and this time he's tweeting. We haven't gotten that Lucas Ham email in a while, mm. brother. Come on now. Uh, tomorrow, or actually today, starts Lent. Giving anything up, giving up anything before. Mm. I once gave up speaking for a week. Hashtag enlightening. Hashtag try it first. What? Wow. wow. I've never given rough. up speaking. I've heard that before. And I hear it's mm. crazy. Like one of my, bu- I think it was Toby actually. He went to a, um, like a retreat where yeah. for the first three days they weren't allowed to talk. And, mm. oh, wow. and he said the exact same thing, like to be stuck with your thoughts and not be able to like spout off at the mouth and have mm. to live with those thoughts and like just mill on them and not be able to share them. He said mm. the same thing. Like it's, it's really mind opening. He was like, it was crazy how much we just say things and then they're out there. But when yeah. you have to just yeah. sit with them and you can't share them with people, he said it was, mm-hmm. it was really interesting. Uh, I gave up meat for Lent once. I didn't grow up doing Lent mm-hmm. uh, because I always thought it was a Catholic thing. And yeah. I don't know. It is predominantly. Right. And so I, yeah. we just never did that coming up. Mm-hmm. So once I got married to Jenny, Jenny had done it. Uh, growing up every now and then. So uh, one of the first years we were married, I think like one year I gave up soda and then one year I gave up meat and then I haven't really done it. It's always like snuck up on me. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. So because since it's not a big, it wasn't a big thing to me. I didn't, you know, feel it coming and, you know, I yeah. didn't even correlate it to, you know, fat Tuesday for the longest time. Right. Yeah. And it definitely s- snuck up on me this year. I, I didn't, realize it was right around the corner so i hadn't planned yeah. or anything but i've given up tons of different things uh like over the years we mm-hmm. grew up um 
doing it in my household. Um, and so I've given up, you know, sodas before, different kinds of drinks, different like meat and other kinds of things before. Right. All kinds of different yeah. things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think too, like, I feel like there's been a couple times where I'm like, oh, I'm going to give up something. And I feel like if I don't, this is just me. If I don't yes. prayerfully do it, then there I yeah. shouldn't do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If I'm just I mean, giving something up just to be a part of life. Then why bother? Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's not supposed to be it's not supposed to be like a diet. Uh, yeah, right. exactly. If I'm like, it's, oh, it's not really oh, the, the, uh, the internet. Yeah. You know, it's like, come on, I can't like yeah. even for my job, I can't give up the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't do it again this year. I found it funny. I I saw today on Facebook people saying, Hey, I'm giving up Facebook for Lent, just a heads up. And in my, in my head it was all people that was like Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> That's great. That's funny. I, I gave up a sweetener a while ago because I used to, in my coffee, I used to put like two or three Splendas in. Mm. And yeah. I've completely yeah, given, Drink given it, black. it up. Yeah, and I've given it up completely. And if I do want any sweet, anything sweet, I add honey to my coffee now. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And I've. I've been doing that for two years now, so nice. was, that's the one thing that's definitely stuck, which is great. And you started that on Lent, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I yeah, gotcha. about two years. I think it was two nice. years ago. I think and you just kept, you still wow. celebrating that Lent. That's right, I'm still going. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> right. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I I think you're right, Gabe. I think you need to definitely prayerfully make that decision and not just make a decision for the sake of making a decision right. because it's Lent. Like, mm-hmm. definitely do something. Yeah, like. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Did you say something, Ed? No, I'm. I was like you, Gabe, where we didn't grow up doing it, and so it's just kind of like, oh, you're not having any chocolate. Can I have that piece of chocolate? <laughs> Ooh, more chocolate for me, then. What's that on your forehead, by the way? <laughs> because yeah, Jesus but... still loves me, so can I have some chocolate? <laughs> you got Jeez. something on the whole forehead. You gotta <laughs> get that off. Can I get that? Is that chocolate? Can I lick your forehead? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, why didn't you stop me? That's ash. <clears throat> that's yes. not chocolate <laughs> <laughs> I do like the ash on the forehead though I think there's a there's an amount of reverence to that I like that I think too is, I think it's I've really it's one. really cool yeah I've done it before and it, it, it's really cool and they just put that on you at church yep yeah. just, or do you do it at, do yourself at home depending on the church it's usually done during like communion oh yeah. okay okay yeah I didn't I didn't yeah. have any of that yeah yeah great question Lucas thank you yeah, for that yeah I like that, that. Uh, at Kit K- Korkorin, uh, will playing as Aloy allow me to understand women or accessorize better? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's Whoa. It might Whoa. allow you to accessorize better because there's all the different outfits you can get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It will stuff. have you might stare- teach you like how to have that eye to be like, oh, yes, this goes with that. It'll have you staring at women's mouths more. Yeah. That it will. Like, oh, no, I really you'll, appreciate you'll the, way, the way your like, mouth moves. Not, <laughs> it's not we'll working very well. Mouth. <laughs> That's funny. That is really funny. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, at iDrake76, do any of you have video game music or sound effects as your ringtones on your phone? <laughs> you know what? I just got a new phone yesterday. And What'd you put? You did. Uh, yeah, and I put... What'd you get? Uh, I don't know. It's a, I think it's a Samsung something or other. Oh, geez. I wish I didn't care as much as that. <laughs> <laughs> but I downloaded an app that has a whole bunch of ringtones and so gabe your ringtone is the mario de 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 oh, de perfect with the words or without the words without the words nah, dog yeah it. In, i'm, in I'm gonna record <laughs> this podcast though and put that back on with your words on. yeah there you go chris yours is the theme to metal gear solid of course yes and stancil's is the ring that was in the game uh second son when his phone would oh, ring. perfect oh you're so yeah. creative that's awesome so yeah I, I finally do. I Can never you change did mine to the Final Fantasy VII thing? Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'll do that for you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. They do that in, uh, I think they do that in um, Final Fantasy XV, one of their phone ringers. Mm. And that's what the sound that would go off when you would win the battle. And I think one of them reaches for their phone and is like, da, da, da. I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> that's so it's cool. It's more than Final Fantasy VII, but it's, it's in nice. a bunch of Final Fantasy games. I'll do it. Uh, Tim? Um, I don't have any video game stuff, but I usually record Piper. Like, my current ringtone is, mm. Daddy, your, your phone's ringing. Yep, right. I'm Piper, and it's just, I like it. It's sweet. I know Chris has one. Yeah, I have uh, various Metal Gear Solid sounds. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. <laughs> and then I have, so Gabe's uh, text tone is moving with the payload currently. I also nice. have speed boost. 
It just I'm just not using that. That is moment. awesome. Uh, for my brother uh, and the guy at work, we used to play Call of Duty a bunch, so I have uh, different Call of Duty sounds for them. And I th- I think that's it. I also have a bunch of Star Wars sounds and other various song little snippets and whatnot. Nice. That's awesome. Um, it's yeah. funny after hanging out with Chris and hearing his Metal Gear Solid sounds, I was like, man, I need to do that. And I, I mine is literally the default whatever your phone came with. Like yeah. I've never even changed it off <laughs> really? the factory setting. That's but awesome. I used That's to hilarious. have uh, I used to have uh, Notorious B.I.G. Yes, oh, and then nice. for a little while I had Frank Sinatra. Oh yeah. Bop. Night and day, you are the one. That's why. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> nice. Mm. Well done. Great question. And on to our final question at Brad Kabowski. That's my morning crew right there. Hey-o. Morning crew. Looking into doing a video game podcast of my own. Sweet. Do you guys have any tips that you could share? Nope. (laughs) You're on your own, Brad. We can talk about it in our morning Bible study. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) If I ever start that back up. You be you, Brad. You be you. Uh, I always say consistency, consistency, consistency. And then I talk to the people that I said that to, and they're not doing podcasts anymore. So I don't know. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) I, that was that was the big thing for us with Married to the Games. I was like the the one the couple things that we were aiming to do was to be consistent and mm-hmm. to sound good. Yeah, because we didn't yeah, want to sound say, terrible. I would say that too. That audio quality needs to be like the end goal at least. I mean, when you're starting out, you you should just use whatever you have just to get your ropes and your bearings and everything like that. But whenever you can, because, you know, microphones and the equipment to run certain mics is expensive. So I'm not saying everybody should just jump right in with everything under the sun, but just get a quality mic. And a quality mic doesn't have to be like a $700 mic. No, no not at all. Go get like a blue mic. The blue Yeti or whatever, that little USB mic. Get that, man. Mm -hmm. Those sound great. Yeah. But audio quality goes a long way. Like when a person's just checking out your podcast first time, to like let's just say somebody's scrolling podcast. Like, I'm gonna check out uh this one. If you've got bad audio, they're probably gonna bounce within the first minute or two. Exactly. Regardless yeah. of what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah. So if your audio's good, then they're like, Okay, that's the first barrier. Now I'm gonna pay attention to the content and then that's up to, you know, however you wanna do Ed, it. Ed, did yeah. you use the Blue Yetis on uh Foot in the Door podcast? Ed's got a podcast called Foot in the Door. If nobody's I did checked in the it beginning. out, you should check it out. And so you, and then why did you stop using them? Not because they sounded bad, but just because why? Um, they do a really good job of picking up a lot of ambient sound. And when I was like on location, I got a lot more ambient sound than I really wanted. Mm. So I switched to the uh, SM58, so it was a little more directional. Ah, so yeah, d- that's that's the same thing I did. I started out with the the uh, Yeti, and I actually still use it because mine's a USB. Like if I'm on location, mm-hmm. if I'm out and about, I'll take mm. that one with me. But at home, I'm using a dynamic mic because it just helps with reducing some of the room noise that I have. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Nice. That's awesome. Great questions, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, Thank really. You. Yeah, we appreciate it. Um, I've asked this question before, but I think it was a long time ago. And so I wanted to bring it back up just because I think it's fun and it gets other people involved in the podcast, at least getting shouts, shouts outs. Um, can your significant other beat you at anything when it comes to video games can your significant Mm. other beat you at anything when it comes to video games me and my wife i I thought of this question again because we were playing dr mario last night and the way i get her to play is i'm like hey you want to get whooped at dr mario right quick (laughs) nice and she's like i'm about to whoop you and dr mario and i'm like (laughs) nice uh, but seriously do you want to get whooped at dr mario (laughs) And uh, and it. we cut it on, and that first game she spanked me, and I was nice. like, "Well, wow, this is fun. All right, okay." Mm-hmm. So uh, I I like when she beats me because it's like encouragement for her to keep playing. Exactly, That's great. Yes. Ed, um, yeah, Sarah can beat me in some of the Jackbox games. Oh yeah, there you go. Be- but she despises the fact that I always beat her in every dancing dancing game, especially since she's a Zumba instructor. That's so amazing. she won't play them anymore. <laughs> that is really? hilarious. She yeah. won't play them. That's she incredible. won't play them if I'm playing. She won't play them. Speaking of dancing wow. games, kind of. So I went to our local, like, there's a place called Bargain Hunt, where mm-hmm. you can get, like, you know, where they get, like, the overstock stuff. And they had Guitar Hero there for, like, uh... The new the Guitar Hero Live for like thirty dollars or twenty five dollars is it worth it? Really? Yeah. And it came with two guitars. 
Yeah, definitely really? grab that. So do they have the wow. dumb dumb mode where I can play with Amara and she can just strum and it'll still act like she's doing good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I believe they even, I could be wrong, but I believe they even have one easier level than, than they used to have. It goes like even easier, I think. Okay, so it goes like deaf, dumb dumb, easy, normal, hard? Something like that, yeah. Mm. Wow. But uh, yeah, it's definitely worth it, I would say. Okay, I might go get that tomorrow. Do it! Because I was thinking, I was like, man, this got two guitars in it. I'm wanting to move the Xbox awesome. into the main room anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, and she would, she, we could play it together. That'd be so cool. All right. I'll do that. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Chris? Uh, yeah, Stacy is way better than me at Overcooked. What? So really? She is? Yeah, yeah, she is. And, and fortunately, we're, we're usually on the same team. So, you know, I'm, she's just like p- picking up my slack and she, every time we go into the minion and we are starting to play, she'd be like, you want to do verses? I'm like, no, I don't want to do verses. There's no point. I'm going to lose. Really? So yeah, she's way, because like whenever we're doing, uh, overcooked. So again, well, like I said, we're, we're a team and she's the one like giving the orders and has the plan. Cause if, if it's up to me, we're probably going to lose. But if she's like spouting and says, do this, do that. And it's like, all right, I'm, I'm just doing it. it it's going to work out. Mm. So she's way better at it. Nice. That's and, awesome. Yeah. Timmy? Nope. <laughs> I didn't think so. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. no. It's more because she doesn't play, though. I, she couldn't no, get she's, Yeah, she just doesn't play. I mean, it was, it was actually kind of cool. Uh, two weeks ago, um, I plugged in the old Atari to kind of get Piper into doing some stuff, and we ended up playing a little Frogger and a little Pac-Man oh, nice. and, and Q-Bert, and, and that lasted for about five minutes. Oh, hey. That's okay. But... It was something. That's how it starts. Yeah, yeah that's right. Go. Just got to plant that seed. That's all I got to do. Nice. Um, great. That's the question. Let us know. Can your significant other beat you at anything in video games? We want to know and give these girls and guys a shout out. Yes. And uh, mm-hmm. put yourself on blast. Let your pride fall down and be like, okay. Yeah. Right. She can beat me in this or he can beat me in this. You win. And they win. <laughs> Um, and I got to give a shout out to a podcast I've been listening to lately called, ah, dang it. I don't even remember what it's called. How I built this, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a great podcast. How I built this. Um, it's an NPR podcast and their newest episode has, um, what's his name? Noel Bushnell on it. Noel Bushnell. He's the guy who founded Atari. Atari? Yeah. And oh, wow. what I didn't know he founded was Chuck E. Cheese. And so really? it's, oh, wow. it's him talking about starting Atari and starting Chuck E. Cheese. And it's really, really interesting. So go give nice. how that's I awesome. built this. Oh, that's cool, listen. man. Yeah, it's really cool. They're not long. They're not as long as these episodes. Oh. Like 30 or 45 minutes. <laughs> not everything can be awesome. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um. Thank you guys so much for listening to 33 in the books. Yes. You got the AM mm. and the PM. That's right. I like it. I wish we could stop midway and do the rest of it always like this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I'm Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. And that is Chris McCracken. And we collectively mm-hmm. are married to the games. And we up out this thing. Bam! Tim, are you asleep? Mm-hmm. No, I'm awake. I'm just, I was just going to say, I don't think that's... Oh my God. Um, Tim? Yes, yeah, he's here. asleep. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm here. Is he really? He's got to be. No. Oh, wait. No, no, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I don't I'm hear here. him breathing. I'm so long. I'm here. Oh. No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Can you no. hear me? You're asleep. Oh. No, no, I'm not asleep. <laughs> Trust asleep. me. I was just... <laughs> no, no, Tim. Hey. Stop it. You're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Something's up with my 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 pod 
my little earbuds because Ooh, yeah, I, was, I hear that. I couldn't hear. I hear a bunch I was of actually. Yeah. See, can you hear me now though? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. 